Mississippi State will receive tonight. Let's go down on the field to our colleague Dick Gabriel. Dick. Charlie Mack, we have had rain here in Lexington early in the day. The field has been covered, but Bucky Trotter, who looks out for the field, says that the humidity causes whatever moisture in the ground there is to rise under the tarp. So even though it's been covered, it will be a little bit slipperier tonight than normal. Let's go back upstairs. Thank you, Dick. Doug Pelfrey is set to kick off. So very important in a game like this or any game to hold your opponent and force them to punt, give you a chance to get the ball and see what you can do with it. Pelfrey's kick is away. It will be fielded at the five-yard line by James. 15, out to the 20, 25, spinning across the 30-yard line. Tony James, a dangerous customer, number six in the SEC in kickoff returns, number 22 in the NCAA. Jabari Pipkin makes the stop for the Kentucky Wildcats. Greg Plump, there you see the numbers, Rob. Well, he's hit on just 17 of 43. Does not throw the ball very much, completing under 40%. We'll see how well he can direct this option attack, though. Look out. The pressure's going to be on the Kentucky defense. Single setback behind Plump. Three receivers to the near side. Busted play. Plump wants to throw. Got a man open. It is complete for the first down and more. Upfield to the 47-yard line. Well, so how do you like State that? Strikes quickly. Kind of a surprise. Coming right out and throwing on first down, and they hit it here to Tony James. Nobody to hand the ball off to. And Charlie, just as you called it, it was apparently a busted play, but James comes wide open here, has to get off his feet to make the catch, and Mississippi State has got a first down at the 47. Sterling Ward makes the tackle. First down, Mississippi State. Here's a spread set again. Plump on the draw play across the 50 into Kentucky territory, knocked down at the 48-yard line and a gain of about five where Robert Stinson makes the stop for the Kentucky Wildcats. The ball went to Carl Williamson. Here's a look at the offense for State. The dangerous man there is Kenny Roberts, the running back, their leading rusher. Roberts is averaging about six yards a carry. The offensive line, they feel like they have the best tackle in the league, and that is Jesse James at 6'3", 294. Second down and five. Opening drive for Mississippi State. Little counter play. Big hole, Roberts, 35. He's on his way unless Armstead can catch him. And he shoves him out of bounds inside the five at the four-yard line. And it's a pickup on the play of 26 yards. Well, we talked about Kenny Roberts maybe getting 100 yards here tonight, and here's a big chunk of it, a fourth of it right here, a play that's been really good to the Wildcats, the counter. They block it uh, with their center, Lee Ford, and they just spring him right up the middle, then down the sidelines, and Armstead is finally able to get a collar on him down inside the five. Make that a 43-yard run. Inside the five at the four, first and goal Mississippi State on their opening drive. Wishbone in the backfield, power set. They'll give it off the left side, and Mississippi State is on the board early. Carl Williamson scores. He scored three rushing touchdowns last week against Arkansas State. Prior to that, he only had 16 net yards on the run. That didn't take very long, did it? Here is Williamson coming off a big game against Arkansas State. Again, they block it extremely well with the left side of their offensive line. Center Lee Ford, the left guard, Bill Sarton, and John James their left tackle there and Mississippi State is quickly broken out on top in less than a minute and a half here at Commonwealth Stadium here comes a point after try Charlie Gardner puts it up and through there and Mississippi State takes early 7-0 lead but hold the phone there's a penalty marker down across the way with the score Mississippi State 7 Kentucky nothing will hang on and see what has happened Penalty is against Kentucky. The point after stands. We'll return to Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington with more Wildcat action after these important messages.
Mississippi State leads, taking the ball and running it down the throat with the exception of one pass. The drive 69 yards, took only a minute 15 off the clock. Now Carl Williamson had that big day against Arkansas State. He ran for 93 yards last week, and he's off to a great start tonight, Charlie. Deep kick. Here's Rudolph. Started to bring it out. Decided better. Touches it down on one knee. So let's see what the Cats can do in their first series on offense. Talked about getting off to a good start. Poogie Jones certainly hoping for better things than what happened last week against the Georgia Bulldogs. They see his stats on the year. Three touchdown tosses. Two of those to Alfonso Browning. And he's completed 57 of 118. That is under the 50% mark. Jones with a stacked eye behind him. One receiver to the far side. On a first and ten call from the Wildcat 20. Give it off to the tailback. Damon Hood gets a yard, maybe two, and then he's stacked up at the 22-yard line. First man to hit him, Juan Long, a 6'2", 235-pound linebacker, a junior out of Tupelo, Mississippi. Now Juan Long, one of the outstanding linebackers that uh, Mississippi State has as we look at the Wildcats offense. Leading receiver there, Kurt Johnson, 15 catches on the year. Corey Reeves starting in the place of Neil Page, who has a bad right knee. Gain of a couple, second down and eight. Staggered eye behind Pookie Jones. Wants to throw off the play fake. Got a man open, Riazzi at the 30. Trying to spin his way out to about the 34. He can't get there, but it is enough for the first down. Had to take it across the 30, and he did. Hit down by the cornerback, Charlie Davidson. Got help from outside linebacker, Mark Woodard. Look at Juan Long. Get the pressure on Pookie Good Jones. Pookie, under pressure, gets it away. Get Riazzi coming out of the backfield across the 30 here, and a first down. High percentage toss, and it pays dividends for the Kentucky offense. They'll give him the 33. State leads it early, 7-0 after that 69-yard drive with Williamson taking it in from the four. Wide receivers left and right, Browning to the near side, Johnson to the far side. Option play, Pookie going to keep it in trouble, knocked back to the 30. He'll lose three, and it's second down and 13. Kevin Henry, defensive end, makes the stop, the senior. Out of Mound Bayou, Mississippi. Here's the upfront look for Mississippi State. Tim Foster is the headhunter of that group in the 3-4 defense. The linebackers, Latif Travis, Daniel Boyd, an All-America candidate, Juan Long, and Mark Woodard. Kentucky going with a no-huddle offense. After the loss of three, it is second down 13. Calvert in the game now. Flanks to the near side. Single set back. Terry Samuels and Pookie's going to burn a timeout. Saw something in that state defense he did not like. Well, he sure did as he looked over that front set and then the linebackers. They're really high on this linebacking core that they've got at Mississippi State. As we look across the way to offensive coordinator Rick Rhodes, Pookie coming over to have a few words with him. But their linebackers, Charlie Mark Woodard, Juan Long, Daniel Boyd, Latif Travis, who has come back after an injury now playing tonight. Be sure to watch Big Boo Madness as Rick Patino unveils a 92-93 basketball catch. We'll have all the fun and festivities of the Monster Bash on this UK station. Be sure and check your local listings. That's always a lot of fun. And on Halloween night, a little extra this year, I think. The Big Boo Madness. I'll tell you some folks that didn't have fun this afternoon. South Carolina wins its third in a row. They beat Tennessee today in Columbia. Of course, Sparky Woods began his coaching career as an assistant at Tennessee back in 1976. Also, Florida beat Georgia. And a tie, Arkansas playing at Auburn. That was 24 apiece. The only other night game, LSU playing Ole Miss in Jackson. Second down and 13. From the Kentucky 30. Staggered set behind Jones. Corners back off the Kentucky receivers. Here's the fake on the draw. Jones to throw across the middle. Reeves open for the first down. And it's a gain of 23 yards out to the midfield strike. Well, Corey, Corey Reeves getting the start tonight in place of Neil Page. And he comes wide open here right over the middle. Faking the handoff to Terry Samuels. And there's Corey Reeves out of Corbin, Kentucky coming right off the line. And finding himself wide open up at midfield. Frankie Lester, the strong safety, brings him down. First and ten cats. Browning goes to the far side. And it is Chapman to the near side. State leads it early, 7-0. 
Jones on the draw. Samuel's in trouble. He'll be dropped. Back at the 45-yard line, he will lose five, and it's second and 15. Daniel Boyd got to him, the inside backer, the six-foot senior out of South Haven, Mississippi. Now, as we look at the stats on Terry Samuels, they had a lot of people coming, and Daniel Boyd, one of those fine linebackers, he has been rated by one publication, the most underrated player in the Southeastern Conference, number 41. Second down, 15 from the Cats, 45. 11 minutes to play in the opening period. Option play, the pitch back, it's Hood trying to get to the corner, gets it across the midfield stripe, he'll be knocked down around the Mississippi State 45-yard line, knocked down by Kelvin Knight, the free safety. Pukey faking the handoff there to Samuels and then pitching the ball. This is something that we haven't seen the Wildcats do very much of in recent weeks, Charlie. We see it here. It does not get a lot of yardage, but it does get it down into Mississippi State territory. Say his knee went down at the 45. It's third down at eight. Good pitch that time by Jones. Very quick. Got to him so he could make his read. Better execution than what we've seen. Spread set. Corners back off the Kentucky receivers again. Jones back to throw. Looks, fires, hood. First down, Mississippi State 38-yard line. And a pickup on the play of nine yards. Big third down conversion. This is third down and uh, eight yards to go. And a big one for Pookie Jones right here as he gets Damon Hood out of the backfield. Pookie now has already completed three passes in the ballgame. First down, Kentucky. No huddle offense. Here comes Browning to the near side. Reeves works inside on the right. Mark the ball at the 38-yard line of Mississippi State. Counterplay, Riazzi. Looking for him. They got him. A couple of inches at most. Stuck first by Torrance Brown, outside linebacker, senior out of Decatur, Georgia. Well, that didn't fool anybody. They start Matt Riazzi towards the near side of the field as we get a look at the Mississippi State defense here. There goes Matt to his left, comes back to his right on the counter. But Mississippi State is right there. Corey Reeves with three men to block, and there was no way he was going to do it. Against the run, Mississippi State ranked sixth in the SEC, giving up 137 yards a game and giving up only five rushing touchdowns on the year at second and ten. Corners come up close this time. Here's a give off, Hood picking his way, trying to get to the 35, gets to the 36 and gains about four in its third down. Daniel Boyd there to make the play along with Kevin Henry, the defensive end. They're going to have a big third down play coming up, Charlie, as Kentucky starting this drive, I believe we're back at its own 20-yard line now. And having moved into Mississippi State territory at the 36, the Bulldogs already on the board with seven. Took them only, what, four plays to score? Very important that the Wildcats keep this drive alive. Here we go. Tenth play of the drive. Third down conversions on the year. There you see it for the Cats. 32.3%. Third down at about eight. Here comes a blitz by Mississippi State. Jones takes a deep drop. Pumps, fakes, fires, batted around, almost intercepted, falls to the turf, and it's fourth down. And here comes Doug Pelfrey on. He'll attempt a long field goal. The pass was batted down by Edward Williams, a cornerback. Dell Edward Williams with a couple of interceptions on the season, and he almost had number three here. Should have had number three. And then when it slipped out of his hands, Kentucky could have come up with it. All right there, Corey Reeves and Damon Hood right around the football, but it falls free, and now we see Pelfrey. This will be a 53-yard attempt, which would tie Doug's career long. He's hit two 53-yarders in his career against Indiana and against Cincinnati last year here on homecoming when he won the ball game. Plenty of leg. The kick is gone. Doug Pelfrey nails a 53-yarder. Mississippi State now leads Kentucky 7-3. We'll return to Commonwealth Stadium with more Wildcat action in just a minute.
There's the scoring drive. 5-12 off the clock. 11 plays, 44 yards. And Doug Pelfrey nails a 53-yarder. That's his eighth 50-yarder plus in his career. Well, thanks to Doug Pelfrey, they get the points. But fortunately, that drive did not go to waste. We saw some good things out of the passing game there. The completions to Riazzi, Corey Reeves, and Damon Hood. And Kentucky gets some points out of it. Pelfrey's kick will be fielded at the four-yard line by James. Jitterbugging at the 20. Gets it out to the 24-yard line where he's stacked up by a whole host of blue shirts. The charge led by Daryl Kahn, the bandit back for the Kentucky Wildcats. Well, Tony James, we talked about what a great return man he is, Charlie. He is one of only two players in SEC history to have 1,000 yards both in punts and in kickoff returns. The other man, Dicky Lyons, who played here at Kentucky back in the late 1960s. There you see Tony James and what he's done. Mm. Outstanding. Wishbone set, wide receivers left and right for Mississippi State. Here's Pluck. Batted down. Batted down at the line of scrimmage. Let's see who put up the big right paw. I think it may have been Damon Betts, the nose guard. Big series for Kentucky's defense after Mississippi State quickly moved down the field. What you have to do when you see the quarterback pump, you get those arms up. Get your arms up quickly. And that's exactly what Damon Butts does. When you see that he's going to pump, you get your arms up. Good job. Second and ten. Motion, Mississippi State jumps off sides. Wow. Mississippi State, a heavy, heavily penalized team. They come into this game, Charlie, averaging about 59 yards per ball game. They've been penalized 414 yards on the season, and that is a lot. I remember Georgia here last week was over 50 yards in penalties. This team is even a little bit more heavily penalized than the Georgia Bulldogs. Shea Bell, the guard, the junior out of West Point, Mississippi, jumps the gun. Now the ball back to the 20, second down and 15. Trip receivers, three of them to the near side. Tight end stands up on the left. Bluff. Misdirection pass, being chased, guns a bullet overthrown, intending it for Orlando Pruitt. Don Robinson with a coverage. And a Mississippi State player is down inside the 15-yard line. No, make it a Kentucky player. Yeah, it looks like it's Damon Betts. And it's hard to see what he's doing there. It looks like he's reaching around towards his knee, but we'll wait and see exactly what the problem is. Rob, both these teams have had much too many injuries during the course of the season. Well, they really have. Of course, uh, the, the player you think about immediately with Mississippi State is the quarterback, Sleepy Robinson, who went down in the Florida game. Such an unfortunate thing to have happen because their offense is so much built around him. I think you've got to give Plump a lot of credit to the way he's filled in. He's really had to come of age. But Kentucky, likewise, has had uh, a number of injuries this season. The three latest ones coming up this week, what with Neil Page and... Zane Bean is Zane another. Bean, he has a respiratory, respiratory infection. Stress. Right, upper respiratory infection. Now it looks like Damon's going to get on his feet. Let's see if they have to help him off the field or if he can go off under his own power. He has played well so very early. It does not look good. No, it does not. The right knee. So now Roger Sullivan will back up Billy Lofton at nose guard. 8.07 remaining in the opening period. Mississippi State leads Kentucky 7-3. State scored in its first offensive possession, marching 69 yards, and Williamson taking it in from the four. Kentucky scored in a 53-yard field goal from Doug Pelfrey. It's third and 15. Crowd is alive. Single setback. Puck wants to throw, gets pressure, fires across the middle, complete for the first down. No, he dropped it. Had his hands on it, could not hang on. Willie Harris, their leading receiver, had the ball stripped away by the free safety, Brad Armstead. Willie Harris, a man with 20 catches on the season, and I thought Plump had this one to him, but no. Good pressure. Single safety back for Kentucky is Kurt Johnson. A long return this year, 35 yards, averaging, averaging just 8 yards per punt return. Todd Jordan, top punter in the SEC, number 4 in the NCAA, averaging 46.3 yards a kick, set to bust it. He nails one. Johnson backpedals, feels it at his 33. Looks for running room. It's not there, and he gets it up to about the 39-yard line. 
Well, that kick was a thing of beauty, wasn't it? When you see a spiral get up like that. Jordan really putting a foot into it, and there is such a thing, of course, as out kicking your coverage, and that kick was so deep that Kurt actually had a little bit of room, but Mississippi State getting down and covering it at the 40-yard line. 49-yard kick, a 7-yard return. So Kentucky will try it for the second time on offense. One receiver, Chapman to the near side. Fake by Jones. Got a man open, Chapman fires it, caught for the first down. At the 46-yard line of Mississippi State. And the play covers about 25, 26 yards. Walt Harris, the corner, was trying to cover, but couldn't cover him close enough because of a great fake. Boy, Pookie Jones really sells this one, Rob. Yeah, he does. The fake of the handoff to Damon Hood. And we see yet another receiver getting open for the Wildcats. We continue to see good things out of the passing game. Look at Pookie. He's four for four. First and ten, Kentucky. Give it off to the first man through that Samuels for a yard to the 45, and that's it at second and nine. Tackle by Tim Foster, defensive end, a junior out of Griffin, Georgia, 6'3", 271. Mississippi State's only win here in Lexington was back in 1955, 20 to 14. UK coming in leads the series here, 8 to 1. Only one player on the Mississippi State team from Kentucky. That's backup nose guard, Rob Jewell. No players from Mississippi on the Kentucky squad. Second and nine. Jones pitches it back to Hood. Makes a good cut inside the 40 near the first down marker. Great cut and great execution of the option. Let's check on the status of Damon Betts. Let's go down to Dick Gabriel. Damon Betts being taped, a lot of tape put on that right knee. It's called a sprain right now. They are not sure if he will return. Let's go back upstairs. Ball is marked at the 37, yard shy of a first down, third and one. Well, even if that is just a sprain, really, that's good news. Good news that it's not anything more serious, even if he can't come back. Power set, State digs in, Kentucky digs in. Jones bobbled it, picked it up. Let's see if they give him a good spot. I think they did, Rob. Well, let's see now. The Mississippi State defenders want him to mark it back. I think he reached it out and then was knocked back. Good hustling play by Pookie Jones because that could have been disastrous. If Mississippi State falls on that football there, Pookie very, very alertly picked it up, took it right back to the line, and as you said, Charlie reached out. And here they bring the chains on now from the far side. Short by an inch or two. Well, I don't get much closer than that. I'd say two inches. Mishandles the snap, picks it up though, secures the football, and advances it. And the little question in my mind that Bill Curry will be going for it right here. He wants them to think more aggressively. Omri Meek in the game at tight end now, sets it up on the left side, Reeves the other tight end. Fourth down and an inch or two. That is all. 5.48 left opening period. Mississippi State with a four-point lead. It's 7-3. to three. Quarterback sneak. I don't know. He got it then. He got it on second effort. Sheer determination. Uh, Mississippi State had everybody bunched in tight. Kentucky's linemen right together. Look at this. Pookie goes into what appears to be a concrete wall here. Bill Curry on the sidelines, urging his team on as they pick up the first down. Watch him go into this wall. Nothing. Stop cold. Great second effort right there by Pookie to get around Mark Woodard, the linebacker, and he picks up the needed yardage. Kentucky's fifth first down. First and ten. Wideouts left and right. Johnson near side. Browning far side. Wants to throw, in trouble, fires it, man open, Riazzi, great catch! Inside the 15, will go down at the 12-yard line, and the pass play covers 24 yards. Knocked down by Edward Williams, a cornerback. Now some more great faking here at the line of scrimmage by Pookie Jones. Fakes the handoff, drops back, eludes a tackler right there. That was Daniel Boyd, and then Matt Riazzi has to turn back. That ball thrown just a little bit behind him. 
Great job and great hands by Matt Riazzi. Mark it at the 12 of Mississippi State, first and 10. Only Riazzi's second catch of the season. One receiver near side, that is Johnson. Give it to Samuels, hit. May have lost a yard back to the 13. Stacked up in there by number 45, Mark Woodard. Got help from Torrance Brown, the other outside linebacker. As Samuels comes back to the huddle, shaking his head. Well, we've seen Kentucky throw the ball effectively on both their series here tonight. One thing about this Mississippi State defense, teams have been able to throw on them. They've given up about 193 yards per ball game. That ranks 10th in the Southeastern Conference. Between the 12 and 13, second down, just over 10 to go. Quick play fake. Going for the corner, Browning! Almost got to it. That was great coverage by Mississippi State's Walt Harris. He was in his back pocket. Now, Walt Harris, one of the few younger players that Mississippi State is playing on defense. Just a freshman out of LaGrange, Georgia. And... Alfonso Browning getting a step on him there, but Walt Harris staying right with the Fonz, and it's incomplete. Pookie got a great block from Damon Hood. Third down. Just over 10 to go. Give it off to Samuels inside the five at the four. Going to come up about a yard or two shy of a first down. Big hole there. The tackle by Daniel Boyd. Great hole. Quick hitter up the middle, and it pays big dividends. Pookie's been faking this. This time they give it off to Terry Samuels, and there it is. And it pays off. Going to come on with a field goal unit. Some of the crowd doesn't like it, but you're going against the Mississippi State defense that ranks fourth in the league in scoring defense, this will be a 22-yarder from Pelfrey. Earlier hit a 53-yarder. Can get Kentucky within one. Right down the middle. 3.19 to go opening period. It's now Mississippi State 7, Kentucky 6. Well, well they got catch. points on the board. That's Again, important. get points. Another good drive. Kentucky with two good drives in this ball game here tonight after Mississippi State marched right down the field on its opening possession and was first to get on the board. You know, Charlie, we heard Bill Curry talk about improving the passing game and getting more out of the passing game. I think it was before the trip to Baton Rouge, before the trip down to Tiger Stadium. And really, here tonight... This is the first sign that we've seen that it's really, really paid big dividends. Pookie Jones throwing the ball effectively here tonight and hitting a number of receivers. The drive, 56 yards, 10 plays. But it is really, really good to see that passing game come around. And now by the same token, that should help open things up on the option and move the ball better on the ground for the Wildcats. Kenny Roberts and Tony James drop back deep for Mississippi State. I'd like to see Pelfrey kick this one out of the end zone. I don't like to see Tony James get his mitts on the football. <laughs> Great return, man. Let's see if he tries to kick it away from him here. Keep it on the right side of the field. James has come here to the near side hash mark. a football picks it up at the six gets it out to the 14 he was very very lucky to get it out to the 14 yard line making the tackle was Jabbar Pipkin for yeah. Kentucky I think that was Billy Campbell out of Tate's Creek High School right here in Lexington it was the man who was streaking downfield who almost got him back there for a bigger loss but Mississippi State poor field position now with which to work as they have it at their own 15 yard line here now late in the first quarter Lump only one of four throwing it. Wideouts to either side. State a one-point lead. 3.13 to go first quarter. Plump, option. Pitches back. It is James crossing the 15 out to about the 17-yard line where David Snarden, the bandit back, greets him first. And he got help from the middle backer, James Simpson. 
Yeah, Stinkrat Simpson getting over and covering a lot of ground on that play to make the initial hit, and really the hit by Stinkrat Simpson was the hit that slowed him down. State scored on its opening drive. Williamson took it in from the four. Kentucky has two field goals from Pelfrey in this period, one a 53-yarder, one a 22-yarder. Mississippi State jumps off sides. Lee Ford, the center. Was he pulled off? Looked like Lee Ford fired right out to me. That's that's the way I read it. Let's see now what the referee says. Yeah. Out to the 22 on the penalty. It will go against Kentucky. It was Lofton who jumped off and made contact with the center four. Looked like Billy Lofton might have thought that, that Ford moved, and then he decided to just reach right in there and hit his pad, but that was not the case. So it makes it second and three now. Straight up the middle, Williamson to the 25, should have the first down. Marty Moore on the tackle. Marty making his 19th straight start tonight. The junior out of Fort Thomas, Kentucky. Key man in the Kentucky defense, no question about that. And doing some shifting back and forth between the Mike and Will linebacker spots. What with the loss of Reggie Smith a little over a week ago. First and ten, Mississippi State. Wide outs to either side for Greg Plump. Counter play. Out to the 26 and that's all. Kentucky's defense closes on him in a hurry. It was Marty Moore. Getting in there along with David Snarden. Market at the 27 where it is second down and eight. Getting the defensive signals there from Lovey Smith from across the way. The man with the arms folded there. Defensive coordinator Larry New. Plump for the play fake. Gets pressure. Hit me straight. That is Kentucky's first sack in the last three ball games. Robert Stenson gets his first sack of the year. James Simpson was also back there with him. Now let's see what happens here. Watch number 94, Robert Stenson, as he just breaks right away from his man. Shea Bell, the junior guard out of West Point, Mississippi, just could not hold him. Kentucky's 14th sack on the year puts the ball back at the 21. Third down and 13. Kentucky backers off expecting pass. That's what Plump wants to do. Looks backside. Got a man in his face. Throws it up. Incomplete drop at the 38-yard line. Had it in his hands and dropped it. That's Willie Harris's second drop of the night. Don Robinson on the coverage. Yeah, I know Watson Brown, Mississippi State's offensive coordinator, hates to see that. Because really, Charlie Willie Harris is their money man when it comes to catching passes. Big rush, he gets it away and it's right there. And Willie was just a little anxious to run with the football. Ty Jordan on to kick. His last one traveled 47 yards. Low snap, will get the kick away. Johnson comes up to field it at his own 43. Gets it across midfield, out and down to the Mississippi State 45-yard line met by Scott Gumina for Mississippi State. So a good return gives Kentucky good field position to begin its third possession on offense. And give the Kentucky defense, Charlie, a lot of credit on these last two possessions by Mississippi State. After the Bulldogs went right down the field on that first series of the ball game, they have really done the job. 35-yard kick and a 12-yard return. Mississippi State up by a digit, 7-6. 23 ticks left in the opening quarter. Donnie Red in there now for Kentucky. Sets up on a wing lift. Jones fires over the head of the intended receiver. Donnie Red, or make that Hobbs, at the Mississippi State 35. Luster was covering. Let's go down to Dick Gabriel for another injury update on Damon Betts. Dick? Actually, the news this time is a little bit better, fellas. Damon Betts has had the ice bag removed from his sprain, sprained right knee. They're taping him up, and they're going to send him back in before the end of the half. Let's there go back you see there. big number 99, Damon Betts. Be good to get him back in there. Oh, that is good news. Same offensive look for Kentucky on a second and ten. 
from the state, 46. Give it up the middle, looking for running room and gaining only two, maybe three, and that's all on his own, was Hood. Or make that Craig Walker just in the ball game, the senior out of Louisville. And that will be the final play of the first period. That's the end of one here at Commonwealth Stadium. On Halloween night, it's Mississippi State 7 and Kentucky 6. And we'll be back with second quarter action in just a minute after these messages. Getting ready for the first play of the second quarter. There you see head coach Bill Curry. Hoping his cats can convert on third down. Third down along seven from the Mississippi State 43. Pookie Jones has been very sharp early. Donnie Red on a wing left. Single set back is Walker. Whiteouts are Calvert and Browning. Here's a checkoff. Walker moves up a step. Quick drop. Fires it out to Browning. Breaks the tackle at the 35, the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5-yard line. First and goal, Kentucky. Frankie Lester saved a touchdown. The gain on the play all the way down to the Mississippi State Five. About a 38-yard pass play, and we talked in our open here, Charlie, about getting the ball to Alfonso Browning, and he did a great job of breaking the tackle there and just streaking down the sidelines. Great call, and Kentucky now right on the verge of taking the lead in this football game. One receiver far side, that's Chapman, out of the eye. Red dots the eye. Jones takes a look. First down, goal to go. Got to give it off to Walker. He'll get a yard off the right side. That's it. Murray's in there now for Kentucky at the wingback position. The tackle made by Kevin Henry got help from the corner, Edward Williams. Now we see Darren Murray in the game. You know, Matt Riazzi playing quite a bit over the last two to three weeks. has really gotten banged up quite a bit, and they feel as though he needs some relief. So we see number 34 in there. And now Riazzi comes off the bench and comes into the Kentucky backfield. So Riazzi's back in the ball game. I think we're going to see quite a bit of Darren Murray here tonight. Got Red still in there at tailback. Let's see if Kentucky tries to get it outside. Power set, two tight ends. Second down goal from the four. Play fake. Pookie, short pass, complete. Walker trying to get to the pylon, gets it down to the one-yard line. Williams knocks him out of bounds. Oh, that was a dart from Jones. Well, it was, and good to see Kentucky throwing the football in this situation. Down on the four-yard line, Pookie fires it to Craig Walker and just misses getting to the pylon out at the one. Got two receivers, Calvert near side, Chapman far side, trying to spread out the Mississippi State defense. Third down. Goal to go from the one. Pitch back to Red. Red slips and falls at the four. Going to lose three yards on the play. I think he would have taken it in, but his feet came out from under him trying to make the hard cut. Davidson right. there to make sure he goes no further. Donnie trying to accelerate and cut, as you said, Charlie, and as we mentioned, as Dick did right to the start of our broadcast, this field is a little slick because of the cool temperature. We're down at the 50-degree mark, probably a little bit under 50 degrees right now. There is some moisture on the playing field, although it was covered, and that protected it from the rain. It's up. The field goal is good. And Kentucky.
Kentucky takes its first lead of the night. It's 9-7 with 13-10 to play in the first half. And we'll be back to Commonwealth Stadium in just a minute after this. Lot to cheer about from the cat over there as Kentucky has taken its first lead of the night, 9-7 over State with 13-10 to go. I want you to be sure and join us tomorrow for the Bill Curry Show with my colleague Rob Romley and Ralph Hacker and, of course, Coach Curry. Be sure and check your local listings for time and station. Well, Charlie, you hate to get down on the one-yard line and not get it in the end zone. That was a tough break to see Donnie Red slip like that and not be able to get in the end zone. But we continue to see good things from the Kentucky offense. Kick is away. Short kick. Fielded at the 16. 30. Trying to get to the corner. And he gets it upfield about the 45-yard line. Doug Pelfrey is over there to help out. And knock down Kenny Roberts. Adrian Sherwood. First to make contact. And Mississippi State has very good field position. And we've got a Kentucky player now down on the field here at the near sidelines. And let's see if I can pick up a number. Rob, Kentucky has run 28 plays so far. Mississippi State only 14. Now, if that's 25, it's Melvin Johnson. But I, I can't. It is 25. It is 25, Melvin Johnson. Under Bill Curry, Kentucky is 6-2 and two when leading at the half, if they can manage to do that, and 8-2 and two when leading after three. This season, Kentucky is 2-0 and oh when leading at the half, so hopefully Kentucky can take a lead into the locker room at halftime. Well, Coach Curry's got to be happy the way his team has come back here, and you see Melvin now needing some assistance to get off the field. It is either the right ankle or the right knee, and hopefully that is nothing too serious. But the way Kentucky has come back in this football game after giving up that opening touchdown. Great job by the defense and the offense. The passing game has just been hitting on all cylinders here tonight. Kentucky has had the ball three times and scored on each possession. All field goals from Pelfrey. 53 yards his first and then two 22-yarders sailed through the uprights. Plump with a checkoff. Got a hurry. Play clock could run out on him. Just in time. Option. In trouble. Knocked down for a loss of one back at the 44. Dean Wells got to him first. David Snarden was also over there. Defense continuing to do a good job against the option. That time it was Dean Wells trailing the play and then Don Robinson coming up from the other side. Kentucky with a two-point lead, 9-7. to seven. Early second quarter, second down and 11 for Mississippi State. A go with one wide receiver. That's Willie Harris to the far side. Kentucky showing blitz. Now they back off. Let's see if they'll come. Pitch back, James. Penalty marker down. He gets the first down. Let's see if they call it back. The ball down to the Kentucky 44. James Simpson with a tackle. That was a great pitch by Plump as they went with a loaded option to the far side. Now let's see what the penalty is now. Looks like it's going to go against the dogs. Big break for Kentucky. Well, it is. As you said, nice execution on that play by quarterback Greg Plump. But it all goes for naught now as they walk it back. I believe it's the second penalty on the Bulldogs here tonight. We get another look at it here. Watch the right side of the screen here. Willie Harris. He's grabbing onto the jersey. Right there, yeah. Of Adrian Sherwood. Willie Harris, number 87. Ball back to the 43-yard line. 
Second down about 13. Wishbone set. Play fake. Plop wants to throw. Looking for Prude. He's got great speed. He's open. He's caught it. No! Had it in his hands and then lost it as he was going out of bounds as he took a big pop from Sherwood. Orlando Truett, the transfer out of Pittsburgh, can't hang on to the football in his third down. Here's another look. Well, Truett's a fine receiver. They have not been able to get the ball to him much. I think they would like to get the ball to him a little bit more. And there he is wide open. And another drop pass. And Jackie Sherrill and Watson Brown have got to be pulling their hair out right now. They've seen some drops here tonight. And Mississippi State's got to keep so many people in because Kentucky's getting the good rush. Third down, 13. Greg Plump looks over to his offensive coordinator, Watson Brown, who calls the play from the sideline. Three receivers to the near side, trying to spread out that Kentucky defense. Motion, Plump will pitch it back, Roberts, and they blow the play dead, just as the ball came away from the center. So Mississippi State will more than likely pick up its second straight penalty. Illegal motion against the Bulldogs pushes it back inside the state 40 around the 38-yard line between the 37 and 38. Yeah, and it's, it's third, down, it and third long. down now and 17 yards to go. Let's go down to Dick Gabriel and check on Melvin Johnson quickly. Mary Ireland working on the right ankle. It is a sprain, but they think they'll be back and holding him right now. Let's go back up soon. But incomplete on his last four passes. Here's the pitch back looking for running room. Roberts hit. Crosses the 40, gets it out to the 43, and State's going to have to punt. Brad Armstead, the free safety, comes up to make the tackle. And this crowd loves it. Another big effort by the Kentucky defense as they go off the field. Charlie, Mississippi State with great field position on that possession, and they squander it. Another great job by the Kentucky defense. Keep in mind, Kentucky hasn't had to punt here in the first half. Jordan hits the boomer. Kurt Johnson going to watch it hit and go into the end zone, and it'll come out to the 20. With the score, Kentucky 9, Mississippi State 7 will return to Commonwealth Stadium after this pause. Seven yard punt by Todd Jordan into the end zone gives Kentucky position as they will scrimmage from their own 20 yard line with a two point lead, nine to seven. I tell you, you look at those stats on Pookie Jones, and what that does is that builds confidence. I mean, we've still got 10 minutes and 54 seconds left to go in the second quarter. This guy's already thrown for 117 yards. He's seven of seven of nine on the night. And that means so much, Charlie, when you've got confidence. Here's the total offense of the game. Kentucky 138 yards. Mississippi State only 61. Most of that on their opening drive, which covered 69 yards. Jones got a man open right through the hands of Alfonso Browning, who would have had about a seven-yard gain. Walt Harris on the coverage. I don't know how he lost that one. Looked like it was right there. But I'll tell you, the Fonz came up with a big completion on that last series. That was a big, big third down play when he shook the tackle and went all the way down to the five-yard line. Second and ten from the Kentucky 20. Browning and Chapman, the receivers. In the backfield, the fullback Samuels, the wingback Riazzi, and the tailback is Hood. Option, pitch, Hood got some running room. First down. Slung down at the 35-yard line, a gain of 15. Long, the inside backer hanging on for dear life, or Hood could have gone for more. Now, how about this execution? And I can't help but remember at Coach Curry's weekly news conference back on Monday afternoon, right at the end when he was asked about pitching the ball. 
and the fact that the Wildcats had not been able to do it in recent weeks. Good execution, getting the ball to Damon Hood, the timing right there, and a big gain and another first down. Ends up being a 14-yard gain. They mark it at the 34. Hood with a good night so far. You see six carries for 33. Kentucky leads by two with 10.41 to go second quarter. Give it off to Hood. Lowers his head out across the 35 to about the 38-yard line. Tackle by Long. Mississippi State on the road this year has lost both their league road games to LSU and to South Carolina. Their wins on the road, or the win on the road is, is won, and that was at Texas to begin the season. Right. A very impressive win. Opening game winning in Austin. Now they won twice in the league on the road last year, I believe, but it's been a tough on them this year. Second down. Call it seven. Jones off the play fake. Going to keep it, try to get to the corner. Out to the 41-yard line. So they bring up third down at about four. Kelvin Knight with a good open field tackle on Jones, and he's not an easy guy to bring down when he gets to the corner. Now Pookie, a big guy, as we pointed out, fakes the handoff right there, gets a good block from Riazzi, I believe that was. But then Mississippi State getting over to cover it quickly. Good job by the Mississippi State defense. Third down, a long three. The ball at the 41 of Kentucky. Chapman, great catch for the first down to the 46-yard line. Great catch by Chapman. Knight on the coverage. First down, Kentucky. Oh, look at this. Pookie straight back and then throwing a bullet. And Mark Chapman with the stick him on the hands. Fly paper on the hands there to pull that ball in across midfield. And again, Kentucky converts on third down. I'm not sure what they are on third down conversion so far in the ball game. Three of seven is all right now, but it seems like it would be even better than that. Chapman's second catch tonight, his sixth on the year. Kentucky will scrimmage from the state 46-yard line, first and ten. State showing blitz. Here they come. Pookie Jones, quarterback draw, inside the 45 to the 44, and a gain of two. Tackle by Herman Carroll. Junior defensive end out of Natchez, Mississippi. That'll keep you honest on the blitz. Here comes Riazzi back in the game. Johnson goes out. Second and eight. 44 yard line of Mississippi State. Calvert, the lone receiver, far side. Give it off to Samuels, fighting to the 40. And it'll be third down and three coming up. Getting off the bottom of the pile for Mississippi State, Mark Woodard. Latif Travis is the man who makes first contact. A junior college All-America from Pensacola, Florida. Terry Samuels, I thought a guy who really played his heart out last weekend in that loss to the Georgia Bulldogs. They pull it back to the 41, so it's third down and five. Donnie Red in a wing left. State showing blitz. Backers up in there close. Now the backers off in coverage. Pookie to throw. Guns it out there. Red drops it. He had it for the first down. Could not hang on at the 34. Walt Harris on the coverage, and it is fourth down. Now we get another look at it here. And very simply, Donnie Red just should have been able to pull this pass in. Pookie getting it away. Plenty of time. And we've seen some drop passes tonight for both sides, haven't we? Here's Kentucky's first punt of the night. There you see the numbers on the senior, Jason Todd. He said 10 inside the 20. He needs one here. Fair catch call for at the 16-yard line. Gathering it in was Tony James. And it gives us the opportunity, I think, Charlie, to say something about Jason Todd and the fine job that he has done in punting the football this season. I think he's had like 20 kicks of over 40 yards, and as you said, 10 of them have been down inside the 20-yard line. 
averaging almost 40 yards per punt. And what seemed to be a real question mark at the start of the season, that young man has done a fine job. That was Scott Gumina who fielded that punt. If you want to find out what's happening with the Cats, we'll tell you more about your subscription to Kaywood on Kentucky in a minute. First and ten dogs. Give it right up the middle. On first down, the big running back, Carl Williamson. The junior out of Stanton, Tennessee, with a carry is Ken Johnson. Backup weak side backer makes the tackle for the Kentucky Wildcats. They'll mark it on the 20. And coming up, it'll be second down and seven. One receiver to the near side. Pump hands it off, and he'll get it up to about the 24-yard line. Gave it off on the option, and with a carry, it was Carl Williamson, hit by the nose guard, Damon Betts, who was injured back in the first quarter, and it's good to see him back. He's got a little limp on the right leg there, but he's in there. Yeah, you can see the tape around the uh, thigh pad on the right side. Mississippi State is all three in third down conversions. They need just over three to pick up a first down. State will have to burn a timeout and regroup with 6.07 to play in the second quarter in Kentucky leading at 9-7. Folks, if you want to find out what's happening with the Kentucky Wildcats in all sports, be sure to order Kaywood on Kentucky. $29.95, and you may send your check-in to Kaywood on Kentucky, 120 Kentucky Avenue, Lexington. The zip is 40502, or you may call area code 606-233-3455. Visa and MasterCard are accepted. Kentucky residents can add 6% sales tax. Well, Mississippi State scored on its opening possession, opening drive, a four-play 69-yard drive with Williamson taking it in from the four. Since then, Kentucky has scored on a 53-yard field goal from Pelfrey and two 22-yarders. And the Kentucky defense has really done the job here tonight ever since that opening possession when the Bulldogs went right down the field in just four or five plays. Plump went over to the sidelines, had a chance to confer with offensive coordinator Watson Brown, and here we go. State looking for its first third down conversion of the night. Power set option. Now they're going to give it off. Plump with a good fake outside. They won't get nearly enough for the first down as they'll gain only a yard as Marty Moore gets off the bottom of the pile. Well, Mississippi again, State's got a punt. The Kentucky defense does the job on that series, Charlie. Mississippi State elected not to throw the football. They kept it on the ground. They come up short. And again here with 540 still to go in the half. Cat should get good field position. Kurt Johnson in single safety standing back at the UK 35. Jordan with a long kick of 49 tonight. Kentucky goes for the run back. Johnson at the 33 gives ground. Tries to cut, slips, and falls at the 33. With the score, Kentucky 9, Mississippi State 7, and 5.21 to go in the second. Let's pause for this. A 42-yard kick by Jordan gives Kentucky the ball at its own 32-and-a-half. One receiver, far side Johnson, going to get it off to the tailback, and he'll crank it out over left guard for the gain of a yard and a half. Carlos Collins, Carlos Collins the tailback, hit down by the nose tackle, Jimmy Miles. Collins, the sophomore out of Cincinnati, has seen limited action this year, but... Of course, Coach Curry said he wants to see more of it. Now, Carlos, a young man with a lot of ability, and he gets his chance right here on this series, so let's, let's see what he can do here. Second and nine. Darren Murray in there at the wing, back in the middle. Give it off to Craig Walker. Not a good read that time by Jones. Got nothing on the play. 
Hit right in the hole by Tim Foster, the end. Nothing there at all. No running room. Foster had it all bottled up. And it's going to be third down now and well, about eight coming up for the Wildcats as you look at big number 95, Tim Foster out of Griffin, Georgia. Corey Reeves back in the game at tight end. Also Mark Chapman back in there at wide receiver. Third down along eight. Single setback is Craig Walker. Linebacker showing blitz for State. They'll back off into coverage. Jones wants to throw it, dances around, guns a bullet in and out of the hands of Corey Reeves. Upfield at the 45, and Kentucky will have to punt for the second straight time. Kelvin Knight was covering. Pookie Jones is throwing the ball very well and finding the open man better than he has, with the exception possibly of the Indiana game. Absolutely. He has been right on the money. That was another pass that was right there, but Corey Reeves just not able to haul it in. Single safety is James. Kentucky up by two with 3.53 to go second quarter. James will have a lot of time to return this one and take a good look. Bounces off his own man. Crosses the 35 out to the 37-yard line. Yeah, it looked like he ran into number 94, Wesley Lisi there, and that kind of slowed him down. 39-yard kick and a 10-yard return by James. And State's got pretty good field position. Todd didn't get all of that one. Didn't hang it up there very long. And from now on, he'll have to get it up there much higher and much longer. And give the special teams for Kentucky a chance to get out and cover. First and ten, Mississippi State. Three receivers to the near side. Plump with a play fake. Goes the other way. Gets pressure. Fires to Truett. Wide open. It spins inside the Kentucky 40 to the 39-yard line and again on the play of 25 big yards. Here's another look. Well, that time they said one man in the backfield. They had three receivers to the left. And Plump gets everybody going the other way, and then he hits one of those receivers, throwing to his right, cutting from left to right across the field. Good play and a big completion to Truett. Orlando Truett, as we said earlier, transfer from Pitt where he caught 68 passes for the Panthers. He's a junior out of Birmingham. Pump going to give it on the draw. There's running room to the 30. Still going and all the way pops out of a pile and takes it in to score. Oh my. Scoring for Mississippi State was Michael Davis, a sophomore out of Martin, Mississippi. Well, this is what Mississippi State has been trying to do all night. They work you with the pass, and then all of a sudden they hand it off on the draw here. And here comes Davis putting his head down, and Sterling Ward just did not hang on to him. Sterling Ward had a chance to nail him back around the 25-yard line and just could not hold on to him. And Davis goes all the way for the touchdown. It's you know, hard to believe that somebody couldn't drag him down. Looked like he was stopped cold. Good hole up the middle. Stinkrat Simpson there. Overran the play, but you could see number four in there. Sterling Ward not able to get the handle on Davis, and he goes all the way up the middle, and suddenly Mississippi State springs the big play. 63-yard drive. Looked like number 76 there, John James, the tackle. Kind of pushed him through. Only took him 34 seconds to score. Stayed up now 13 to 9. Hey, you know, Charlie, they came out here tonight throwing the football a lot more than I expected. And they were trying really, I think, to set things up for the running game, and that's what they do on this series as they spring Davis loose and suddenly retake the lead in this game. State's going to go for two. Mississippi State retakes the lead. Plup going to throw for the two-point try. Man open, back corner of the end zone. Just in there. Tony James with a two-point conversion pass. And with 3.06 to go on the second, Mississippi State now leads by six, 15 to 9. Now give the Bulldogs credit. They moved the ball so well on that opening series, and then were stymied. 
by the Kentucky defense. But here late in the first half, they get good field position. And after a completion to Truett, they come up with a big draw play to Davis, get the touchdown, and now they tack on a two-point conversion. Let's take another look at this one. This one was very close in the back line of the end zone. Yeah, close indeed, but I believe he got the foot down. Is that Don Robinson there not able to get back? And he just gets the feet down by inches. Good job by Tony James to get the foot down. They put three receivers over here on the near side standing at the goal line and then pop James free at the back part of the end zone. So Mississippi State has a touchdown in each quarter. Kentucky's points have all come off the toe of Doug Pelfrey. Kickoff by State. Got a hit. Be fielded inside the five. Chapman looking for running room. Slips and goes down at the 17-yard line. Boy, have we seen a lot of players slip making their cuts tonight. Yeah, we saw it happen to Donnie Rudd earlier. And that play by Donnie when the ball was down inside the five, that could turn out to be one of the key plays in this game as the Wildcats had to end up going for a field goal in that instance after they had it down on the one. But the field is slick. And there's just not much he can do about it. Johnny Curtis made the tackle for Mississippi State. Pookie's stats, 8 of 12, throwing for 130 yards. One receiver far side, Kurt Johnson. First down call for Jones. Play fake. Got a man in his face, going to loft it. Batted away, knocked away. But a good defensive play by Walt Harris, the cornerback. That one wasn't the darts that we'd been seeing from Pookie. It hung up a little bit, gave him a chance to break on the ball. Here's Pookie rolling back to his right, and this pass does hang up just slightly. Good job by Harris. Watch him reach in front here. Just a freshman out of LaGrange, Georgia. Jones had a man in his face, and he couldn't set his feet to gun the bullet pass. Second and ten. Stayed up 15 to 9, 2.54 to go in the second. Here's the option play. Jones got to pitch it. What a pitch to Damon Hood! Hood run out of bounds as he crosses the 30 to the 31 yard line and a pickup of about 15 yards. Well, they have the safety man, Scott Gumina, really hung up here. Watch number 26. Scott Gumina here doesn't know which way to go. He's trying to cover Pookie. He's trying to cover Damon Hood. And Pookie just pitches it right back over his head. Gets it to Damon Hood. And Damon takes off around the corner. And it is a Kentucky first down. Nice play. Nice execution. Kentucky's 10th first down of the ball game. First and 10 catch. From the UK 31. Lone receiver near side. Browning. Pookie wants to throw off the play fake. Got to look long for Riazzi. The 41 yard line of Mississippi State in a gain of 28. Kelvin Knight makes the tackle. Corey Ozzy has played quite a ball game. Well, he has. We saw Matt make a big catch earlier in the game back in the first quarter. Here's Pookie again throwing the ball so well tonight. Look at him set his feet. He had time and lofting this one downfield. And Riazzi has to wait on it just a little. Goes up and gets it and hauls it in. Good catch by the young man out of the Dayton, Ohio area. Three catches for 60 for Riazzi. First and ten catch. Counter play, Riazzi tries to bump it outside. Hurdles over a man. And he'll get it to a 35. What a play by Riazzi. Mark Woodard and Walt Harris make the tackle. Corey Reeves, the tight end, the man trying to apply the block right there on the linebacker. And Matt going airborne, trying to get around the corner and giving it all he's got. Gets it to the 34. It's second down and three. Cats need to put it in the end zone. Jones, option. Fakes the pitch, keeps it in trouble, goes down after the gain of a yard. It'll be third and two. Herman Carroll wraps him up, slings him down. State did a good job of stringing out the option. Well, they did. Pookie had the pitch man there. He decided to keep it, cut it back in. Mississippi State did a good job of covering it. Herman Carroll was there. So was Juan Long, the linebacker. A huge third down play. Kentucky has not scored a touchdown yet. All their points have come off field goals from Doug Pelfrey. 
Give it off to Damon Hood. He's got it. Damon Hood for the first down. Long makes the tackle. Let's not have a strange spot here, fellas. Well, they're going to have to call a timeout now. Kentucky was hoping that they had the first down, and the clock would stop when they moved the chains ahead, but you can see they've moved it now to fourth down, and you can see where they have the markers. It is, oh, what, seven or eight inches short, and they're not going to measure. So Kentucky burns a timeout just under a minute now left here in the half. Good time to take a timeout. Kentucky has one timeout left. It's 15 to 9. Mississippi State leads by six. 54 ticks left in the second quarter. I'll tell you, Charlie, this has turned into a good football game, hasn't it? We have seen some excitement right from that opening series when State went right down the field and scored. Then Kentucky, on three consecutive possessions, I believe it was, three field goals. Unfortunately for Bill Curry and his team, the Wildcats could not get the ball in the end zone. And then Mississippi State's offense coming back on its last series, breaking a big draw play. You could see Bill Curry giving the linesman there a little piece of his mind. I don't think it was a good spot at all. Folks, be sure and listen to the Big Blue Line. That's every Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock with Coach Bill Curry and your host, the voice of the Cats, Ralph Hacker. Here comes Kentucky, Chapman to the near side. He's a lone receiver. Cats need a couple of inches to pick up the first down. Got to have it. Quarterback sneak, Jones. He got the ball to about the 30. That's all he needed. He actually did not need that much. That'll stop the clock with 49 seconds left. First down, Kentucky. Here comes Carlos Collins and Tim Calvert along with Kurt Johnson back oh, look at Matt game. Branham fire right out there as they snap the ball and Pookie took that ball on the snap from Branham after he fired out so well and just went right behind him and got the first wing left it's Collins lone set back Samuels at a first and ten Pookie back to throw steps up in the pocket fires it across the middle complete to Samuels Samuels not down at the 23 yard line as he gets seven yards on the play Clock running with 25 ticks left now. Remember, Kentucky has one more timeout left. They'll go with a no-huddle offense. Clock down to 19 seconds. They'll have to hurry to get a couple of plays away. Second down and short. Pookie back to throw. Looking, throwing it short for Sanders over his head. Eight they, seconds left. We'll see Doug Pelfrey. Yeah, they lost some time there. They had, had a timeout. Threw it in completion here on the near side to Terry Samuels, and the clock goes all the way down to eight seconds. But Bill Curry, as you can see on the sidelines, that's all right. Clock stopping on the incompletion. 41 yard field goal coming up for Pelfrey. Be the final play of the second quarter. Doug has hit three field goals tonight. Kick is away. Looks good. hits his fourth field goal of the night and Mississippi State leads by three with just three seconds left in the second quarter it's 15 to 12. Well they took a little too much time trying to line up that time uh, Charlie probably would have been a better idea maybe to call a time out there and then be able to run one more play and throw a pass down into the end zone since they still had one timeout remaining. Lined up clock ran from about 25 seconds down to 12 seconds or 13 seconds when they snapped it they threw the incompletion and then it was just nine eight seconds left as it turned out when the pass fell incomplete to Samuels and they, they really had to go ahead and kick the field goal there and you won't see this ball kick deep you don't no, need I wouldn't think so you wouldn't want it all you wouldn't want Tony James to get his hands on it here and, and bring one back we have only three seconds now left Wildcats have again made it a three-point game at 15-12. Ten-play drive, 61 yards, took 258 off the clock. Fielded inside the 10. Tony James looking for a block. That's the final play of the half. 
Mississippi State will take a three-point lead into the locker room at halftime. At the break, it's State 15, Kentucky 12. We'll be right back with our halftime activities in just a minute. It's not up there. It's a time of possession. Kentucky, 20 minutes and 19 seconds. There it is. Mississippi State, 9 minutes and 41 seconds. Kentucky with 12 first downs. Mississippi State with 5. I really thought the Wildcats were better on third down conversions than that. They, we have them at 3 of 10. Mississippi State 0 for 4. No turnovers in the ball game in the first half. And let's go down on the field now to Dick Gabriel. Dick? Well, Rob, as the band leaves behind me, I can tell you that Melvin Johnson has a badly sprained ankle. They took x-rays, and they were going to check them to see if they could send him back into the ball game here in the second half. The players have been slipping a lot, and I talked to Tommy Limbaugh as he came out. I said, any thought given to changing shoes? He said, we never discussed it. So we'll see if they can correct it on their own. Let's go back upstairs. Mississippi State got the ball to begin the ball game, so it will be Kentucky's turn to get it first. And it's been said so many times in these type situations, especially in a tight game, Establish the offense, get it down there, get some points if you can on that opening drive. Well, Kentucky, as you heard Coach Curry say, has moved the ball effectively in the first half. A great job of ball control. Tough thing is they have not been able to get the ball into the end zone. And that's been disappointing. Our congratulations go out to Kelly Ann Sullivan of Danville and Kevin J. C. from Independence, Kentucky. They were crowned king and queen of the 1992 homecoming celebration today. There they are here at halftime. Sullivan, a psychology major from Danville, and C. C., a political science major out of Independence. We pass along our congratulations. These teams have played some close ball games in the past. The last meeting in Lexington in 1990, Kentucky had to block three field goal attempts to get the win 17 to 15. Well that game turned into a nightmare for head coach Rocky Felker and company. Any one of those three field goals could have won it. Kick to begin the second half of play. Chapman at the six. Looking for a wall. Tries to bump it outside. Nailed as he crosses the 15. About the 16 yard line. Crowd thought he was roughed up on the far side. The tackle by Walt Harris. Well, the Cats will not have very good field position with which to work on this first series, and you hate to see that. Let's get a look at the tail end of the play as Chapman here gets bounced around. And he breaks free. That's what the crowd... He thought he, he, thought he still had forward progress and was never, never stopped. Of course, Mississippi State got a touchdown run from Michael Davis of 37 yards in the second quarter when... Everyone thought he'd been stopped, including the Kentucky defense. Pookie to throw, hit as he throws, intercepted, nope, drop. Big break there for Kentucky that he couldn't hang on to the football. Juan Long, the backer, and Pookie Jones had a man all over him as he set up to throw. Juan Long, linebacker, player who really came along during spring ball for head coach Jackie Sherrill. Kevin Henry is a man who was all over Pookie when he tried to let it fly. Second down and 10. Mississippi State up by three, 15 to 12. One receiver near side. Askins jumps off sides. So the second half is not off to a very good start, is it? Not at all. Coach Curry looks on. Poor field position on the kickoff return. A near interception, now a procedure penalty. And the Wildcats they're all the way back now to about their 12 or 11. Mark Askin, the 6'5", 295-pound sophomore to Louisville. Ball is at the 11. Second down and 15. Oh, oh, oh. 
Here's a checkoff. Option pitch back to Hood. Gets a block from Riazzi. Gets to the corner. Shoved out about 13, 14 yard line. Gives him a little breathing room and it's third down. Shoved out by Kelvin Knight, the junior out of Natchez, Mississippi. Well, it gives him a little breathing room. Not much. We've seen Kentucky pitch the ball quite a bit here tonight. And Riazzi, as you said, Charlie, tried to get a block out there, but the Mississippi de State defense doing a good job converging, bottling that play up and shutting it off at the 14. Third down and 12. Calvert, receiver to the short side of the field. Johnson to the far side. Single set back is the fullback, Samuels. Quarterback draw. Knocked down for loss back at the 10, and the Cats are going to have to kick out of a hole, and it's Kevin Henry who gets to him. Well, Jason Todd needs to boom one out of here. Now Kevin Henry just comes free. No one blocked him. He had a clean shot at Pookie Jones, and he made it all count. Now you see the numbers on Jason Todd has only had to boot it two times tonight. James, very, very dangerous, stands at the Kentucky 46. Field at the 44. Knocked down, great open field tackle by Alfonso Browning. But still, Mississippi State has great field position to begin its first drive of the third quarter. Well, they do. They'll take it in Kentucky territory as they have it right at the 47-yard line. Alfonso Browning, a great job getting downfield. Looked like Tony James may be limping there just a bit as he comes off the field. I think he's all right. But the Bulldog offense now can start in Kentucky territory to begin this third period. Let's see what they can do. Man in there at running back is Michael Davis who had the big 37-yard touchdown run in the second quarter to give Mississippi State back the lead. Now that was the big play for them. Really the biggest play in the half since that opening series of the game. They hit a big pass to Truett on that drive and then came with the draw. And Davis just went right up the middle. Kentucky had a hand on him, could not stop him. He went all the way. Kentucky has won the last five meetings between these two schools here in Lexington, dating back to 1958. Last year in Starkville, of course, Mississippi State rolled up 591 yards of total offense in a 31-6 win. And last year, State ran for 426 yards. That was the most ever against the Kentucky defense. Kentucky's defense playing much, much better here tonight, though. they got to come up with some big plays here as Mississippi State will scrimmage from the UK 47. Little counter play. Inside the 45, down to about the 42. Good gain on first down. Tackle by Don Robinson, the corner. Junior out of Richmond, Virginia. Here's another look. Well, they get a pretty good block there on Billy Lofton. I, I thought he had a good hole there to his left, but he busted it outside and ended up getting about five yards. Long five. One receiver, that's two it out to the far side. Wishbone set in the backfield. Going to give it straight up the middle for the first down to Michael Davis. Billy Lofton, the nose guard, has to hold on for dear life to drag him down. Mark it at the 36, first down for Mississippi State. As it was a game of six. Harris wings it out to the far side. Here's a wishbone look again. Counter play again. Big hole inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Rops Kenny Roberts. Knocked down by David Snarden, the banded back. So Mississippi State knocking off big chunks of yardage on this play, the counter. Well, they get a good block there and... Pick up another first and ten. They're going with their bread and butter on this drive. Just keeping it on the on the ground. Not throwing the ball at all. Now they've moved it down inside the 30. This is what they do well. Second down about three. Same offensive look for State. They'll give it to the big fullback. 
and he'll get it to the 26-yard line, right at the first down marker. Give it off to Michael Davis once again. Last year, as we mentioned, Kentucky's defense could not stop the state running game. Did a great job of hampering the running game in the first half, but now Mississippi State, who got great field position after the punt from Todd, who had the punt deep from his own territory, and now Mississippi State is looking at third and one. Marked at the 27. Counter again. First down and more. It's a foot race to the goal line. And he's run out of bounds at the one-yard line. Kenny Roberts. Now well, coming out of the backfield. They get a fine block here. Is that Fred McCrary, number six, right there? And the man who keeps getting fooled and going the wrong way is a middle backer, Stinkrat Simpson. He's not adjusting to the counter play. Get a look at it from ground level here. As he breaks free, comes to the near sidelines and almost turns this into six points. First and goal over the top. Short of the goal line goes Michael Davis. Stacked up in there, getting up off the bottom of the pile is Damon Betts. Just inside the one, and there you see Betts, who was injured in the first half, limping. Second down, goal to go. Stayed up by three, trying to extend that lead. Loses a couple back to the three-yard line on a bad exchange. Well, neither team here tonight has turned the ball over yet. And that would have been a costly turnover indeed if the Wildcats had been able to get their hands on it. Going to bring up a big, big third down play now. Let's see if the Cats can keep them out of the end zone. Scoring offense, State ranked sixth in the league, averaging about 23 points a game. On third down conversions on the year, 35%. Off the left side, stops short of the goal line. Now he fights his way in there. That's Michael Davis. Cats couldn't keep him out. Looked as though they would stop him short. But the big guy kept fighting and scores his second touchdown of the night. And again, it was Fred McCrary, number six, who leads the way. Gets a good block there, right on the corner, and then Davis is able to do the rest. But I thought McCrary, Charlie, who is listed as a strong safety on the flip card, did an awfully good job blocking out of the backfield on that touchdown drive. Gardner, point after, up, and off to the right, no good. And with timeout on the field, 10-24 to go on the third. It's Mississippi State 21, Kentucky 12, and we'll be back in a minute. Mississippi State has scored three touchdowns, and on each drive, they've used only 14 plays. There's the distance and the drive there on this last scoring drive. They haven't consumed very much time at all on their scoring possessions, three minutes and 32 seconds. Of course, it all goes back to good field position, and you go back to that initial kickoff of the half, Charlie, and the Kentucky offense not being able to move it. Chapman at the two. Hit and slung down as he gets it up to about the 12 yard line. Jeff Artigas makes a stop. Well, here we go again. Kentucky again will not get good field position. Excellent kick coverage by Artigas, number 35. Ran right through the defense. Nobody got a block on him. 
and Kentucky has got to start now back at its own 13-yard line. Not a good place to start from. Down 21 to 12, 10 19 to go on the third. One receiver near side. Option play Jones. Strings it out, keeps it, gets it out to the 19 yard line. Hit down by Kelvin Knight. Not a lot of bad gain on first down. Gets about six, maybe seven yards, depending on how they spot it. Thing is, Kentucky's thrown the ball so effectively in this game, but it's down in this territory. It's it's tough to throw down here. Just shy of the 20. Call it second down and three. Chapman, lone receiver, goes to the far side. Stack die behind Jones. Four-man defensive front for State. Backers off. Going to give it off to the tailback. Working his way out to the 24-yard line, and that is Donnie Red. Tackle by Herman Carroll with help from Long, the inside backer. And up for the first down. Good strong run by the little guy, Donnie Red. They see a shot of offensive coordinator Watson Brown, the former head coach at Vanderbilt. Ball at the 24. State has scored a touchdown in each quarter. Kentucky's points have come off two field goals in the first quarter, two field goals in the second quarter from Doug Pelfrey. Play fake. Jones got time. Going for the home run. Bobby's got Johnson down there. It's caught. Play. All the way down to the 32-yard line. A 44-yard pass. Edward Williams. Williams trying to cover him on the play, and that pass was on the money. I thought the official might break it up. Now, this is a thing of beauty. Pookie starting out to his left, reverses back to his right, and then goes for the big hitter. Kurt Johnson cutting across the middle. Just a great throw by Pookie Jones. Big yardage, and it takes Kentucky all the way down to the state 32. First and 10 catch. Calvert, the lone receiver to the far side. Samuels, Riazzi, and dotting the eye, it's Donnie Red from the 32 of Mississippi State. Give it off to Samuels, inside the 30, diving to the 26. Henry makes the tackle for Mississippi State. It looked as though Samuels might lose that football. Didn't have a good handle on it. Well, no one has turned it over yet here tonight. What Bill Curry wants to see, Charlie, is his offense now take this ball down and get it in the end zone. The Wildcats have not had it in the end zone tonight. It's been four field goals by Pelfer. Second down four. See Pookie Jones throwing for over 200 yards now, 11 of 20. 211 yards through the air. Here comes a blitz by State. Pookie Jones on the option, fighting for the first down marker very close. Very, very close. Mark Woodard drug him down. Take a good close look at this one. They're going to have to bring the chains out, I think, yes. Bring the chains in from the far side of the field. Again, good execution on that play by Pookie Jones. Let's see as they stretch it out here. Everybody getting over for a close look. Matt Branham, Todd Perry, and inches. How many times have we seen that mm. tonight? Just short. But you can bet if they don't get it on third down, they're going to go for it on fourth, I would think. Third down and about a foot. There you see the stats on Kentucky in third down conversions, only three of 11. Pookie wants to throw, got a man open, it's Reed, touchdown Kentucky. Corey Reeves with his first collegiate touchdown catch. the way to cross him up. Third down and short yardage. Go to the tight end over the middle and come away with the big points for the first time tonight. Here it is. They fake the handoff to Samuels. Pookie straight back and Corey Reeves could not be any more wide open. And the big thrill for the young man from Corbin, Kentucky as he goes into the end zone. Palfrey with a point after right down the middle. 
7.37 to go in the third. It's now Mississippi State 21, Kentucky 19, and we'll be back in just a minute. Yes, it is good. And it was a 22-yard touchdown pass from Pookie Jones to Corey Reeves on a third and one. And you get another look at it from our end zone camera, and you can see just how wide open Corey Reeves came as they bit on the fake. And the handoff to Terry Samuels had to guard against the option. Pookie instead dropped straight back, and Scott Gamina, the safety man, was badly beaten right down the middle by the big tight end. And Kentucky gets it in the end zone for the first time tonight, Charlie. Palfrey's kick is away. Fielded inside the five by James. Penalty marker goes down. Could have been a clip there against Mississippi State. Uh, looked like it was. It looked like Jabbar Pipkin was clipped. Let's wait and see what they call here. Well, that was a little scary. That kick... Tony James really getting up ahead of steam as he took the football and came up the right side of the field. And I believe it's uh, number six who blocked so well on that last drive, Fred McCrary. Right here, he clips right there on Jabbar Pipkin. Number 18, you can see it on the right-hand side of your screen. Does it look to you as if James has been very tentative returning kicks tonight? A little bit. A little bit. Kentucky's had pretty good coverage on him. Say he had running room that time, Charlie. That was that was a little scary. From the 19, only 41 yards throwing it on four of seven. Slips and falls and goes down and will lose back to the 17. He'll lose a couple and it's second down and 12. Seen so many players slip tonight. Dean Wells was right on top of him. Think he would have gotten him anyway. Big drive just a moment ago by the Kentucky offense after Mississippi State scored on its first possession of the third quarter. Back to a two-point ball game. Making a loss of three at second down and 13. Here's a handoff on the draw looking for running room. Williamson out across the 25 to the 26. Carl Williamson. Tackle by Dean Wells and he showed that 4-5 speed and cutting across the field laterally to make the stop there. Second down, long yardage. They go to the man who had such a good game last week against Arkansas State. Billy Lofton can't quite get back to get a handle on him. From the 26-yard line of Mississippi State. Third down and three. Counter play. No, sir. No, sir. They were looking for the counter that time. It had been their bread and butter on the last scoring drive for Mississippi State, but Brad Armstead, staying home at the free safety spot, came up to make the tackle. Big series for the Kentucky defense as you look at Larry New, the defensive coordinator across the way. Counter here, try to bust it back inside, but can't get it, and there is Brad Armstead coming up to make a big, big defensive play on third down. Todd Jordan on the punt, his long 56. Kentucky goes for the run back, end over end kick. Coming up, the field at Johnson gets it out to the 42, so Kentucky will have very good field position to start its drive. 5.38 to play in the third. It's Mississippi State 21 and Kentucky 19, and we'll be back in just a minute. Only a 32-yard kick, a two-yard return. Gives Kentucky very good field position to start its drive, trailing Mississippi State by two. 
Give it off. Off the left side. It's Craig Walker across the 50 to the 49 of Mississippi State. A nine-yard gain. It'll be second and one. Tackle by Knight, the free safety. Now Craig, who had the big night against Mississippi State a few weeks, or against LSU a few weeks ago. A lot of running room on the quick hitter up the middle. And hang on to that ball, Craig Walker, as the Bulldogs reach in there and try and pull it away. We've got a Mississippi State player now down on the field. That's Torrance Brown, backup outside linebacker. A great block all along the left side for Kentucky. Bradley Perry in the center, Branham. And Bradley, who stands at 6'5", 305, destroyed his man. Well, the offensive line has come back with a good ball game tonight so far in this one as we have gone now better than midway through the third quarter of the game. They played so well, Charlie, down at LSU a few weeks ago and certainly a disappointment last week against Georgia. Just not firing out the way they could and this situation here does not look uh, too good at all for Torrance Brown, the senior out of Decatur, Georgia, as he comes off the field slowly. Kentucky needs a few more inches to pick up the first. Let's watch, and we can see Brown as he got hit by his own man. It looked like right there, and ooh. Came Tried down on that Walker knee. Back. Came down on that knee hard. Second down, less than a yard. There's a play fake. Looking for the home run ball. Pookie shakes off one man. will run it for the first down and more. Still on his feet. Knocked out of bounds and hit late. Two penalty markers go down at the 38. So they'll tack it on from there. And you see a lot of words being exchanged now. Well, we saw some words exchanged on the punt return just a moment ago before we went to break. And after Pookie Jones picks up the first down here, Kentucky had thoughts of going for the big hitter, going for the home run. Pookie deciding it's not there. Then he takes off on his own, breaks it to the outside with that great athletic ability, and there's the shot after he was already out of bounds. And it's a big mark off against the Bulldogs. Kentucky has it at the Mississippi State 23-yard line, first and 10 with 5.03 to go on the third, and State clinging to a two-point lead. There are the penalties in the game. Mississippi State, as you mentioned earlier, picked up a lot of penalties on the year. Tonight they have five. That was the biggest. Calvert, the lone receiver to the far side. The tight end, Reeves, who has caught a touchdown pass. Works in tight on the left. Handed off to Damon Hood. Goes down after the gain of a yard to the 22. And it's second and nine. Harley Gibson right on top of him. Well, nothing there on that play for Damon Hood. And again, you know what's going through Bill Curry's mind on the Kentucky sidelines. Get this ball into the end zone. Wildcats trailing 21-19 here now as we reach the latter stages of the third quarter. Calvert, the only receiver, out to the right side on a second and nine call. See what the Cats come up with here. Option play, Pookie in trouble, going to lose back to the 26. It'll be third down and 12. Daniel Boyd with the big play for Mississippi State. Now Daniel Boyd leads this Mississippi State in tackles. He had 64 coming in here tonight. He was SEC Defensive Player of the Week for his performance in that great win over Florida several weeks ago in Starkville. And it brings up third down and long yardage. Third down. Closer to 13 yards. Cats working a wing right with Carlos Collins on the wing. The receivers are Browning and Calvert. Lone set back is Walker. Big play for Kentucky. Pookie steps up in the pocket. Going to come out of there scrambling. Inside the 20. Shakes free to the 15-yard line where he'll be about two yards shy of a first. Edward Williams making the tackle for Mississippi State. Here comes Doug Pelfreon. He's hit four field goals tonight in four tries, which is a single game UK record. Going to try to make it number five here and move Kentucky up by one. 32-yard field goal. Pelfrey's kick is up. It is good. And Kentucky takes the lead over Mississippi.
Mississippi State. With time in the field, it's Kentucky 22, Mississippi State 21 on Doug Pelfrey's fifth field goal of the game. Well, what a valuable weapon he is. The Wildcat offense here tonight, able to get the ball into the end zone on just one occasion. That was earlier in this third quarter. And Doug Pelfrey now with five field goals. Six plays, 44-yard drive. Wants you to be with us next week. It'll be a 1 o'clock kickoff Eastern time as the Vanderbilt Commodores come to town. Saturday, November 7th, Vanderbilt has had an open date to prepare. And, of course, we'll be with you on a delayed basis over most of these same stations. Check your local listings as the Kentucky Wildcats go against Vanderbilt. We'll have it for you right here on the U.K. Television Network. Well, it seemed like it was just moments ago, Charlie, that Mississippi State had moved out to a two-possession lead in this game. They were up by nine, but the Kentucky offense coming back with a touchdown, another field goal by Doug Pelfrey, 10 points up and Kentucky moves up by one and we continue to see an exciting game. Pelfrey's kick is away. It's a driving kick. Will force James back in the end zone. Started to bring it out of there. Thought better of it and touches it down on the knee. So Mississippi State will scrimmage from its own 20 trailing. Kentucky by one with 3.03 to go in the third. Why well, what an important game this is for both ball clubs. We've got some ball scouts here tonight. The Peach Bowl to celebrate its 25th anniversary this year, silver anniversary. Peach Bowl scouts are here. Independence Bowl scouts on hand looking at both of these teams, and they have seen a good one so far. Three receivers out to the far side with a single setback. That is Davis, who has scored twice tonight for the Bulldogs. Give it on the draw to Davis. Davis breaks free. Fighting for the first down. He's got it and more across the 35, out to near the 37-yard line. David Snarden makes the tackle. Got help from Armstead. Well, he took some shots. Look at him. Comes up limping, but Davis just keeps on going, just as he did on that touchdown run earlier in the ballgame. Now, he's going to come out of the lineup here and get a little bit of a break. Big, big run on first down, and he has already amassed 69 yards. Plump steps into the huddle. First and 10, Mississippi State. Kentucky leads it 22 to 21. Single receiver out to the near side, Willie Harris. Off the left side, near the 40-yard line. Give it off. The number 27, Carl Williamson, tackled by Marcus Jenkins, a backup corner. Junior out of Long Beach, California, the junior college transfer. Mark it at the 39. It will be second down and a short eight. Bill Curry over there talking with the official, maybe on the spot of the ball, maybe not, I don't know. Three receivers to the right side this time. Give it off on the draw. Up to the 44, and it'll be third down and about three. Dean Wells on the tackle. After getting just a short blow, Michael Davis back in there. He's been their workhorse. There's the rushing stats. You can see Mississippi State has done quite a bit of it on the ground here tonight. Kentucky doing more of it through the air. The Wildcats now with 116 on the ground. Big third down play. Let's see if Kentucky's defense can rise to the occasion. Nose to nose, belt buckle to belt buckle. Pump wants to throw. Penalty marker down. Marty Moore giving chase to second. First man to get to him was number 94, Robert Stinson. And then it was Marty Moore. Great rush by the Kentucky defense. And the penalty goes against the Bulldogs. That was the initial indication. You can see that the Wildcats will reject it because they come up with a big tackle for the loss here. Plump trying to drop back. Here comes Marty Moore. Moore with the initial pressure, and then Stinson comes off his block. He came off a double-team block. Great job by Stinson and Moore, and the Kentucky defense holds. Doug Pelfrey tonight with five field goals has broken the U.K. single-game record for most field goals in a game with those five. Also broke the single-game record for points scored by a kicker. Now 16 points, the old record of 15 by Kenny Willis against Rutgers in 89. Kurt Johnson feels it, gets it out to the 30, 
And pretty good field position for Kentucky to begin its drive, leading State by a digit, 22-21, with a minute three to go in the third. Well, we're down now, final minute of this third quarter. We've still got a quarter to go, and it's been quite a ball game so far. What we've seen here tonight, Charlie, is both teams come back when they had to. Both teams been kind of like a prize fight. They've rocked each other at times. Both teams have battled in this game. Right now, Kentucky up by one. First and ten. Lone receiver near side is Chapman. Pookie on the option. Fighting for yardage. Saw an alleyway open up there, but Daniel Boyd streaking in to cut him off at the pass. You see why this guy is a preseason All-SEC pick. Their linebacking core rated the best in the SEC by Sporting News in the preseason and by Lindy's preseason publication. Outstanding linebackers and a lot of experience on defense has Mississippi State. Kentucky scored only one touchdown in this game. It came in the third quarter on a 22-yard strike from Jones to Corey Reeves, a tight end. Second down, eight. Option, Pookie strings it out. State gives chase. Pookie hanging on. They'll sling him down for the loss of a yard. It'll be third and nine. Edward Williams, a corner, coming up on the option to knock down Pookie Jones. That'll Edward be the Williams, final play of the third. Senior cornerback, also Juan Long getting over there and give the Mississippi State defense credit. They do a fine job containing the option. At the end of three, Kentucky leads Mississippi State 22-21. to We'll be back with fourth quarter action in just a minute. Fourth period, Mississippi State trailing Kentucky by 122 to 21. Cats looking at third down and nine from their own 31 yard line. Jones back, chased out of the pocket, fires on the run, complete. Shy of the first down marker at the 38 yard line. It will be fourth and two. Walt Harris making the tackle on Calvert, and Kentucky will have to boot it. Good pressure there by Juan Long and then by Daniel Boyd. I thought Pookie responded well under the pressure, got the pass off, completed it right along the sidelines, but not enough for the first and ten. And as you look at Jackie Sherrill here on the near sidelines, Katz will have to give it up. Jason's hot on to kick. State gets a player on late. James back in single safety, going to come try to block it. Kick is away. and be down at the 34 and there's a penalty marker may have run into Jason Todd yeah, they're going to call this one back and Kentucky's going to get a first down out of it Johnny Curtis number 99 was the man who came in and made contact with Jason Todd and here comes the call right here big break big, the Kentucky big break Another penalty on Mississippi State. You know, we pointed out early in the game, they're averaging 59 yards in penalties per ball game. And tack on five more yards, and those are such big yards because Kentucky gains a first down through penalty. New life for Kentucky. The ball at the Wildcat 43 after the penalty, running into the kicker. Reverse to Chapman, gives ground, cuts back, another good cut, 
Still on his feet. Still on his feet. Inside the 40. To the 38. Oh, what a play on the reverse. Mark Chapman drugged down by Mark Woodard. Gain on the play of 19. Well, we saw this last week. Number 24, Charlie Davidson bites on him right there. He can't get him. And then Kelvin Knight. Great move by Chapman. Look at the move that he put on the safety man, Kelvin Knight, as he came up there, just put a, a jerk move on him and went right past him for extra yardage down into Mississippi State Territory. 13.53 left. Kentucky holding on to a one-point lead, 22-21. Single receiver Browning to the near side. That's it, Kentucky throws to keep him honest. Pookie Jones with a play fake. Guns a pass out for Browning. Seven yards on the pass play. Saving the touchdown was Edward Williams. Let's take another look. We're going to look at this from ground level. Pookie coming out, getting rid of the ball quickly. And number 20, Edward Williams can't get him. And here comes the big guy down the sidelines. Cuts it back in. Almost takes it to the end zone as Williams comes back and recovers and knocks him down at the one. Did you see him protect the football? First down, goal to go. Two tight ends. Samuels, Riazzi, and dotting the eye, it's Damon Hood. Ball goes to Hood over the left side. Touchdown, Kentucky! Damon Hood, Matt Riazzi clearing the way, and Damon driving with those legs gets it across the goal line. Point after coming up from Pelfrey, who's had a big night, and he nails another one. Time out on the field, 13.07 to go. Kentucky has an eight point lead on Mississippi State. We'll be right back. He ups its lead to eight. There's your drive. Seven plays, 70 yards, 256 off the clock, and aided by a big penalty against Mississippi State for running into punter Jason Todd. No, it really was at roughing the kicker penalty, and that's what you have to do. You get an opportunity like that, jump on it. Make it count. Short kick. Fair catch call for and taken at about the 27-yard line. Not long ago, the Wildcats were down by nine points in this game. Right now, they lead by eight. It has been a 17-point turnover. But as I said just a moment ago, both teams have come back in this game, Charlie. It's been quite a battle. Both teams have responded. Let's see now if Mississippi State can respond. Kentucky coming in with a counter punch to score on the 70-yard drive. Mississippi State first and ten. Motion. Plump. Pitches back, looking for running room. Roberts trying to get to the corner. Great open field tackle by Sterling Ward. Long on the play. Big defensive play by Sterling Ward. Here's Plump pitching the ball. Dean Wells took the quarterback. Sterling coming up. Pressure applied by Brad Armstead to flush him outside. And then Sterling Ward comes in to finish him off. Loss of three, it's second down and 13. Ball marked at the Mississippi State 24. Kentucky, 414 yards of total offense. Plump wants to throw, got a man wide open, near side, under throws it. 
It looked as though Plump backed away, started to turn right, then looked back left. It looked as though he may have been confused. Harris had a huge cushion, about a 10-yard cushion, but the pass was thrown wide and low. Really looked like it was a busted play there when it started. But he had Harris open at the near sidelines if he just got the ball to him. Now he faces third down and long yardage as he looks to the sideline to get the play from Watson Brown. Orlando Truitt back in the game for State. James will come out. Kentucky has scored two touchdowns in the game and gotten five field goals, a record from Doug Pelfrey, and Mississippi State will burn a timeout with 12-18 to go in the game and Kentucky leading it 29-21. to Mississippi State will have two timeouts remaining. Folks, want you to be sure and join us tomorrow for the Bill Curry Show with my colleague Rob Romley and Ralph Hacker and, of course, Coach Curry. Be sure and check your local listings for time and station. Boy, what a difference a week makes. It sure does. And right now we're just 12 minutes and 18 seconds away from that being a happy program when we tape it tomorrow morning. But 12 8 12 18 is a lot of time. Big third down play coming up right now for Mississippi State. But the Wildcats, as you said, Charlie, really have come back and have responded. And after getting this game off on the wrong foot, the defense came back. The offense came back. Doug Pelfrey has come through. Pookie Jones has thrown the ball as well as he has in his entire career here at UK. And the Wildcats right now lead it by eight. Coming up next week in the SEC, Vanderbilt comes to Kentucky. Arkansas will travel to Starkville to face Mississippi State. Florida will host Southern Mississippi. Alabama goes to LSU. Ole Miss will host Memphis State. And South Carolina will host Louisiana Tech. Georgia and Tennessee, along with Auburn, have open dates. Third and 13. Plump sprints back to throw. Looks backside. Got a man open. Catch is made. First down. Did he get there? No, I think they're going to mark it just short. Let's see now. That was a determined effort to try to get to the stick, but I don't know if he made it. I think Don Robinson may have kept him from the marker. Yes, he did. It will be short and will bring up fourth and one for Mississippi State. It's like Mississippi State will go for it. They need some momentum. They have to come up with something. A lot of time left. This is still only a one possession game. Eight point lead, 29-21. Jackie Sherrill making the big decision here to go for it on fourth down. Fourth and one, Mississippi State confused. Will they have to burn another timeout? No, they'll get in there and dig in and try to run the play. Option play, plump, slung down. No sorry, he didn't get it. And the ball is coughed up, but he was down. Dean Wells makes the play. There were three other blue shirts around him as well. Well, he was obviously confused at the line of scrimmage. Now ball goes over. Ball goes over. Plump running the option. Dean Wells trailing the play. Tried to cut it back in, but Marty Moore was there. Marty Moore makes the stop on Greg Plump, and the ball goes over as the Wildcats get it at the 36. Hey, you see the inexperience, probably, Charlie, of the quarterback there, Greg Plump who has come in and replaced Sleepy Robinson since the injury in the Florida game. He has been battling injuries himself. Pookie Jones, who's been spectacular, sets up the Kentucky offense at the Mississippi State 36. It's a first and 10 call. Samuels, big hole, breaks free to the 29. Two yards short of a first down. Woodard and Boyd make the tackle. You have to guard against the option outside. Suddenly, it's the quick hitter inside and well blocked by Kentucky's offensive line. Fine block in there by the center, Matt Branham. They'll say he's three short of a first down. Mark it at the Mississippi State 29. Kentucky leading it by a 29-21. 11-35 and counting left in the ball game. Mississippi State came into this game favored by six and a half. Jones, counter play, Riazzi looking for room, it's not there. May have gotten a yard to the 28, that's it. So it'll be third and one. Herman Carroll on the tackle for Mississippi State. How important could the missed point after try from Mississippi State be when this one is all over? Could prove to be big. We'll see what happens here. We still have 11 minutes to go. Right now, it's an eight-point lead. That missed extra point, of course, could have been a seven-point game at this stage. Third down. 
Jones will give it off to Damon Hood. Didn't get there. Fourth down. Daniel Boyd met him right in the hole. Now Daniel Boyd came flying in and stopped that play in its tracks. Watch Boyd plug up the hole. The line fires out. Terry Samuels leading the way, and here he comes. Boom. Don Long was also there, number 40. Doug Pelfrey on to attempt his sixth field goal. He has hit five in a row. This will be a 46-yarder. Ball down. Kick up. Plenty of distance. This one is... His first miss. I'd like to get another look at that one, see how just how close it was. It hit the upright, we think. Here's the kick again from our end zone camera. Look at the left side of your screen. And watch the upright. Hit the upright and kicked off to the right. Rained off to the right side, no good. Mississippi State gets new life as they will rehuddle. 9.59 to play. Oh, so close to being his sixth field goal of the game. Well, Kentucky would have liked to have had some points there. As it turns out, the fourth down gamble that Jackie Sherrill made does not cost the Bulldogs. They come right back now. Only eight down with 9.59 remaining. Give it to Williamson. Stacked up after he gets a couple, maybe three. Dean Wells on the tackle as Williamson will come out after the carry. And number 49, James Stinkrat Simpson is a Kentucky player down. Well, we saw Melvin Johnson go down earlier in the ball game. Damon Betts went down. He since has returned. And as he always is, Coach Curry out on the field to get a first-hand look at the situation. As you see, trainer Al Green kneeling down there, Sue Stanley out on the field. And it doesn't appear to be anything serious, and hopefully it isn't, Charlie, because Kentucky doesn't want to get any shorter at the linebacker spot than they already are. We'll probably see Matt Noose, a redshirt freshman from Bellport, New York, taking Simpson's place. Well, he goes off the field slowly, so perhaps it's a little more serious than I first thought. We'll see what happens. They'll move in Ken Johnson instead. Johnson, a junior from Elwood City, Pennsylvania, 5'11", 223. Mississippi State will scrimmage from its own 31. Second down and eight. Plump wants to throw it, guns the pass, got a man open, caught, diving, catch for the first down out at the 44, it's Willie Harris. Plump's pass complete to number 87, Willie Harris. Well, from the early stages of the game, we have not seen the Bulldogs throw the ball very much, but here Plump suddenly reaches back and throws it here, and a good grab by Harris to yank this ball in, thrown behind him, had to turn him around, he was able to hang on to it, it's a first down, and the Bulldogs move it up to the 45. Here's the way the scoring has gone by quarters. Kentucky, 10 points in that third quarter. State hasn't scored yet in the final period. There's a big defensive play from Dean Wells. Lost back to the 39-yard line. Get another look at it here. Let's see how Dean Wells comes in. Now he just fought his way right through the block and immediately had his hands on the quarterback. Great job by the senior. Losses six, second down and 16, upcoming for Mississippi State. They'll work from the 39, down to Kentucky, 29-21 with 8.35 to play. Harris will work over to the far side. And Plump will call a timeout. Now Mississippi State is down to one timeout. Down to one. There is time out on the field with 8.31 to go. Kentucky leads Mississippi State by eight. We'll keep it here. Here's a rundown on the scoring. Mississippi State scored first. Their opening drive, a four-play, 69-yard drive. Williamson scored on a four-yard run. Then Pelfrey in succession. 
hit field goals of 53, 22, and 22. Then Michael Davis scored in a 37-yard run with 3.06 to go in the second. The drive was 63 yards, only two plays and 34 ticks. That made it a 15-9 game. Then in the second half, Doug Pelfrey makes good on a 41-yard field goal. Then Davis comes back and scores on a one-yard run for State. Then Pookie Jones throws 22 yards to Corey Reeves. Then Pelfrey hits a 32-yarder. Then Damon Hood scores on a one-yard run. Pelfrey had a chance to hit his sixth field goal, but on a 46-yard attempt, he hits the right crossbar. Let's go down to Dick Gabriel now for an injury update. It looked pretty bad when it happened, but Stinkrat Simpson simply has a bad case of turf toe, and by the time he got him back to the bench, he's okay. He'll be back. Second down, 16, Mississippi State. Plump, after play action, big rush, passes away, incomplete. Trying to go to Willie Harris, but Armstead was with him all the way, and a whole host of blue shirts with their arms up, trying to block the vision of Greg Plump, and that's exactly what they did. Not much chance of getting a completion over there along the far sidelines as Plump now looks over to get his next play, and he's got to come up with something here now on third down and 16. Only two of nine is Mississippi State on third down conversions here tonight. 8.25 to play. Plump looking across the middle. Bullet complete for the first down. Harris fights his way to the 39 of Kentucky. A gain of 22 yards. Tackle by Armstead. Got help from Sterling Ward. So Mississippi State gets out of a big hole. Now third and 16. This is what football is all about here. you got to come up with a big play. They go over the middle to Harris, their leading receiver, and he's got it. And just as it has been throughout this entire ball game, both teams have come back when they've had to come back, and Mississippi State came back right there. Two catches for Harris, 36 yards. That was the biggest of the night. First and 10. Counter play. Not much doing there. Tripping the ball carrier up was Stinson. Robert Stinson got penetration. Looked like Roberts had some trouble with his footing there and went down. Gets a yard to the 38. Second and nine. Roberts comes out. Harris back in at wide receiver. And now Mississippi State checks in. Tay Galloway, a 5'8", 197-pound senior out of Wiggins, Mississippi. Single setback. Spread set. Trying to extend the Kentucky defense. Plump back to throw. Penalty marker down. Was it too much time? Play clock ran out on him. Now Mississippi State on a number of occasions, especially here in the second half, has seemed to have some confusion as to what the play is when they get up to the line of scrimmage. Of course, Watson Brown is calling the plays from the line after they come up to the line. That's many times when they'll get the call. Second down, 14. Pass set for Mississippi State. Plump, a lot of time. Guns a pass, broken up, and then caught. By Willie Harris at the 30, a yard short of a first down. That looked like it was going to be a sure interception, and it suddenly explodes in Kentucky's face and turns into a completion. Here it is again. Don Robinson looked like he would haul that ball in, and there's the completion along the sidelines. I think he had the foot in. By an inch or two. It was in, I think. Not by much. Third down one. 6.58 to play. Off the left side. First down and more. Down to the one-yard line goes Michael Davis, who is looking for his third touchdown run of the night. Kelly well, had that big one in the second quarter that really stunned the Wildcats. The play where Sterling Ward seemed to have him, and again... Looked like he was almost stopped at the line of scrimmage, and then he just keeps on going, and Armstead hops on his back, and Davis carries him at least 10 yards, if not 12 or 13 or 14. Here it is from ground level. Brad hops on, and he just carries him along.
Stop short of the goal line. Second down, goal to go. Stinson gets up off the bottom of the pile. Rob, I thought on the big carry by Davis a minute ago that Roberts, who is set up as a left hand back there, moved a little bit early. Well, I, I didn't catch it myself there, Charlie, but they catched the penalty against the Bulldogs here, and that is a big one, because that moves them back now just outside the five-yard line. That's the kind of thing you hate to see when you're coaching. Us, you got the ball down there just inches from the goal line, and suddenly with that penalty, now you're stuck back outside the five. Still inside the down. six. Here we go. First down. Pup wants to throw it, looking for James. Under throw. Covering on the play was Adrian Sherwood. Second down, goal. Just inside the Kentucky six. They throw for it on first down. They still have three cracks left. Mississippi State trailing here by eight points with 6.04 on the clock. No question that they're going to try to get it into the end zone here, I would think. And then go for two, maybe. Go for two, absolutely, because they're down by eight. Power set. Wishbone. Both teams digging in. Plump on the option. Pitch back. James inside the five. Fighting close to the goal line. Now they say late. A very late call. Why the official standing so close by had to delay that call, I don't know. But he did. And it's touchdown Mississippi State. Well, it was a late call. You're absolutely right, Charlie. Let's see if he breaks the plane or not. I don't know if we're going to be able to tell from this end zone camera. And he definitely lost the football. Gets hit there. Armstead tries to get him from behind, and down he goes. And it looked like he hit the goal line right there with the football. And that would be a touchdown. A little hard to tell just where the football was from that angle, but it looked to me like it hit the goal line. Now they attempt for two points to try to tie the game. 5.55 to play. 29 to 27. Kentucky leads. Let's see if they can keep them out. Here's a draw play. It's Davis. There's a two-point conversion, and this game is tied. Well, that guy's busted loose all night, hasn't he? What an evening he has had. That touchdown in the second quarter. Big moment uh, ago. Big run to set up another touchdown. And the Bulldogs have battled back. We'll return to Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington in just a minute. Ten plays, 71 yards as Mississippi State scores and gets the two-point conversion to tie us up at 29. Get another look at the two-point conversion. They go with Davis on the draw, and it really opens up. Got a good block there on Robert Stinson. He could not reach back and make the tackle. The hole was there, and Davis goes in for two to tie it up. Mississippi State has now scored a touchdown in each quarter. There's the drive. It took 4.06. Some awfully big plays in that drive. You know, I think back to that run by Davis. But boy, they had a big pass play there. Big pass play to Willie Harris on what, third down and 15 or so? Fielded inside the five by Chapman. Straight up the middle. Swerves out to his left. Trying to get to the corner. Good return as he shoved out around the 27-yard line by Charlie Davidson. Looked like a blue shirt kind of got in his way there and held him up just momentarily as he tried to break to the far side of the field. We've got 547 on the clock, and this is what it's all about, partner. You go down the field and win it, but who knows? Maybe Mississippi State, the way this game is going, can come right back. Kentucky has three timeouts remaining. Mississippi State with one left. There are Pookie Jones stats having a great night throwing the football. 277 yards through the air. First down call for Jones. Gives it off. That's Walker out to about the 29 and a gain of two. Hit down by Carroll with help from Daniel Boyd, the backer. Three on 
Kentucky with a victory here tonight. As you see the stats on Craig Walker trying to get to five and three on the season with three games left to play. Victory here tonight for the Bulldogs would push their record to six and two. Both teams in solid contention to go to a bowl game in the postseason, so there's a lot on the line. Three receivers out to the near side. The lone setback is Craig Walker on second down, call it seven. Pookie back to throw, scrambling to his right. Fires a pass for Calvert, he got it. Mississippi State saying he was out of bounds, but Whoa. one official says he's in bounds, the other says no, he was out of bounds. So it's an incomplete pass. Let's take another look and check out his feet. The other official came up and overruled the official who had made the initial call. Let's take a look now along the sidelines and see what happens. Calvert has to go up for it, the pass thrown high. Whoa. I thought it was in. Tim Calvert had the right foot. Must have had it on in the line. Fair territory. In play. The left foot came down on the chalk line. Short pass dumped off to Walker with interference in front. Has a first down and more. Craig Walker. Runs over a man and takes it into Mississippi State territory to the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 25 and a third down call. The tackle by Mark Woodard and Juan Law. Here's the screen. Big block here by Jody Matthews, number 57. Here he comes. There's Branham. Big block by Jody. Big block by Todd Perry. It looked like number 68. And it looked like Matt Branham might have also got a block on the screen. But a big, big block by Jody Matthews and one by Todd Perry downfield. And a good block at the end of the play by wide receiver Kurt Johnson. Kentucky with a big play on third down. Has it at the Mississippi State 45 in this tie ball game at 29 with 4.30 to play. Jones, options, in trouble. Now gets free. Pookie down the far sideline for another first down to the 29-yard line. Drug down by Calvin Knight. A gain of 16 yards. This time, Pookie keeps it. Number 91, Kevin Henry, not quick enough to get a hand on him right there. Henry got a hand on his right shoulder, couldn't hold on to him. And Pookie runs the option, keeping the football, rolling around the left side. Fine play by Pookie Jones. Back-to-back -back first downs for Kentucky. Yeah. Here comes Johnson out to the near side. 46 yards rushing. You know, he's accounted offensively for close to 350 yards here tonight. Browning to the far side. Collins in their tailback now. Pookie wants to throw it. He's in trouble. Throws it long for Riazzi. Did he get it? They say no. Now that I'd like to take another look at because it looked as though he would have caught it in bounds, but the defender knocked him out. That is a judgment call where he would have landed. I didn't think there was any way that Matt Riazzi wouldn't be in bounds. Again, it's Kevin Henry getting a hand up in Pookie's face, and here's the pass. No, he was out. Yep, he out. was out. It's a good call. Excellent call. It's a good call. Crowd really letting the officiating crew have it, but that indeed was a good call. Pookie over 300 yards on the night through the air. He's accounted with 46 yards rushing. He's got 348 unofficially total offense second and ten Jones gonna give it off big hole Walker breaking free at the 15 carried him with him to the 10 to the 5 to the 4 first down goal to go Kentucky on a 24 yard run well the option in the passing game just helped set this up so much the defense just isn't waiting for it well blocked by the offensive line and a big hole opens up on the quick hitter right up the middle for Craig Walker and it turns into a big big play they'll mark it on the five first down goal to go we've got 334 left and counting in this tie game at 29 apiece there's Walker's stats five carries for 37 and his biggest run of the night let's see if Kentucky can ram it across Handed off to Damon Hood, to the two, maybe the one. Off right guard in the block of Jody Matthews. Game four. 
coming into this game, the Cats had only four runs of 20 yards or more. That has changed tonight. It really has. We've seen some big runs, and a few of them, Charlie, have come on that quick hitter, that quick handoff that has gone right up the middle. Game tied. Wildcats want to see a little time run off that clock right now. This is the shortest SEC series for Kentucky against charter members of the league. Only 19 meetings between these two schools. Now these two teams are permanent opponents. Power set, two tight ends. Second down, goal to go. It is Hood fighting his way into the end zone. Damon Hood gives Kentucky back the lead. And I'll tell you, this homecoming night crowd has been treated to quite a football game, haven't they? After Mississippi State tied the game up with a touchdown and a two-point conversion, the Wildcats storm back down the field. Boy, Damon was hit behind the line of scrimmage, not by just one defender, but by at least two white shirts, and he just fought his way into the end zone. Doug Pelfrey, who is perfect on the year and point after tries, nails another one. And with timing on the field, 2.25 to go. It is Kentucky 36 and Mississippi State 29. That is Kentucky's third touchdown of the night. And you add to that five field goals from Doug Pelfrey. Well, unlike the first half, Charlie, when the Wildcats were not able to get the ball into the end zone, they cracked the goal line three times here in the final two quarters. And it has certainly made a difference in the ball game. The Wildcat has got a lot of push-ups to do. 36 big ones, and they're going to come with one arm. Eight plays, 73 yards on the drive. These two teams have slugged away at each other, haven't they? I'll give both teams credit here tonight. They have come back at each other time and time again. We've still got two minutes and 25 seconds left to go, and it is not over yet. Dropping back deep for Mississippi State, Roberts and James. Mississippi State began this season with 19 of 24 starters back from last year's bowl team. The starter they lost in the Florida game was quarterback Sleepy Robinson. Here's Pelfrey's kick. Hangs it up high and short. Taken at the 26. Knocked down at the 33. His backup tight end, Kurt Clanton. The tackle made for Kentucky by Daryl Kahn. And a lot of pressure now on the quarterback, Greg Plump, who has got to come right in here and execute. He has completed only three of nine passes on the night. Time and time again, Mississippi State has come back. Let's see what they can do in the final 220. Pass set for Mississippi State as Plump drops to throw. Got a lot of protection going for the home run ball, looking for Harris overthrow. Covering him step for step was Marcus Jenkins. Second down, 10. Harris was out there. The pass simply overthrown. Marcus Jenkins streaking back down the field to get back on coverage. They go for the big hitter right off the bat on first down. Can't get it to Willie Harris. So much was said about the Kentucky offense not being able to generate points. They've done it tonight and a lot of yardage. Plus, the Kentucky defense has risen to the occasion on what is an explosive Mississippi State offense. Pump back to throw on second down. Stands in, guns it. Marty Moore almost got a piece of it. May have gotten a piece of it out in the flat. Tried to go to Harris again. Jenkins was covering. Third and ten. They got two cracks left at it. Still have to go ten yards. Clock now stops showing 2.09 remaining in the game. Lofton out. Stinson back in the defensive front for Kentucky. 2.09 left to play. Kentucky 36, Mississippi State 29. State has only one timeout left. From the 33 of Mississippi State. State will try and spread him out. Might even come with a draw. No, he's going to try and throw it. A lot of time for Plump across the middle. Complete to Roberts who drops it after taking a step at the 41-yard line. And State will be forced to punt with 2.03 to play. Now let's see now if they go for it on fourth down with only two minutes. You know, with only one timeout, Charlie, they've really been at a disadvantage on this drive because Kentucky knows they just about have to come out and throw the football. They're going to go for it. 
Well, I said forced to punt, but you're exactly right with just over two minutes left. They have got to generate a first down here. Or they're dead in the water. Here's the ball game. Kentucky expecting pass. Plump back to throw. Fires across the middle. Good for the first down across the 45 to the 46. And it's Harris on the grab. So they make up for the drop pass just a moment ago. Get the first and ten. Have to move the chains ahead. Clock stops with 156. Plenty of time remaining. Take a quick look at it here. Straight back. Plump had time and puts it right on the money. First and ten. Mississippi State with a minute 52 and counting left. Plump back to throw again. Gets great protection. Near sideline. It's Harris complete at the 48. Shoved back to the 50. They'll mark it on the 49. Gain of five. Jenkins on the tackle. Another look. Gets out of bounds. Stops the clock at 144. Throwing to the sidelines here. Jenkins coming up making the hit and Harris makes the wise decision to quickly step out of bounds and stop that clock. 144 left. Second and five. Pump to throw again. Near sideline, complete to Roberts, shakes off a man, runs out of bounds at the 42-yard line. It's a Mississippi State first down and will stop the clock with a minute 38 left. Jenkins was covering. Again, they have to move the chains up. Plump looking to the sidelines now to get the play from Watson Brown. Still plenty of time left. They've gone to the sidelines here on the last, what, three or four plays. Came up with a completion on fourth down. They've made every pass count since then. You got to watch for the draw from Williamson. He'll throw instead. Pass broken up, pass interference. It was Jenkins bumping him a couple of times there at the 20. They'll mark the penalty off from the line of scrimmage, not from the point of the foul. That's the rule that changed a few years back. Get the official call here now from the referee. Throwing over the middle. And let's see what Marcus Jenkins did. Right there, yep. Grabbed a hold of him. Good call. And it's going to move the ball down inside the 30-yard line. Between the 26 and 27, first and 10, Mississippi State with a minute 31 left. Kentucky up 36-29. Let's see if Kentucky's defense can rise to the occasion. they got to play him tight. Not too much cushion. Plump rolls out right, fires out in the flat. Overthrown intended for Harris at the 20 at second and 10. Ward was covering. Here comes Howard Carter in a defensive end. Replacing Dante Key. Plump gets his play now from the sidelines. And again, look for them to throw to the sidelines or maybe throw it into the end zone and try to get the touchdown. If they keep it on the ground, they're going to have to call that timeout unless they get a first down. Three receivers to the far side and a single set back behind Plump. Plump back, looks backside, fires, looking for James, intercepted. They say no, he was out of bounds. He was picked off by Jenkins, but they say he was out of bounds. Oh, look how badly Bill Curry wanted it on the Kentucky sidelines. Let's Jenkins see how close that was. Called for interference just a moment ago. Has his eyes on this one. And it looked like he had it. Oh, boy, that was close. Looked like he had it. Had the foot down. Man, oh, man. Oh. Third down and 10. A minute 21 left. Pup stands in across the middle, complete to Roberts. Gives ground, breaks the tackle inside the 20. Stays in bounds. The clock will run. He's down at the 18-yard line. Not a first down. Marty Moore makes the tackle. And now they've called the timeout. Well, Mississippi State can tie it up with a touchdown and a point after. If they go for two, they can go ahead. Oh, this game has had everything, hasn't it? From start to finish, it has been an exciting night. And none of the fans who have turned out here on Halloween night, homecoming 1992, have left. It has been a good one, and it is going right down to the wire. Let's look at the interception again. It looked as though he was inbounds. 
Marcus Jenkins is the man cutting across, has his eyes on this football, trying to get it to Tony James. And right there, he's got his hands on it, and he's got the foot down. That was a pickoff. Sure was. But it was not ruled as such. And Mississippi State has new life. They will be facing fourth down at about a yard and a half. The ball is spotted at the Kentucky 18-yard line. Boy, when Bill Curry sees the replay of this one on that pickoff, he's going to be upset, especially if State takes it in and scores. Wishbone, one receiver to the right. Fourth down, a yard and a half. Counter play. Oh, boy. If it's a right foot spot, he doesn't have it. If it's a left foot spot, he's got it. <laughs> I'll tell you, my initial reaction would be that he did not get there, but I think they're going to bring the chains on from the far side of the field. Tense moment for Bill Curry and company along the far side. And here come the chains. I think it's a left foot spot. Greg Plump getting up for a close look, takes the headgear off, and they stretch out the chain. It was fourth down. Ooh, how close is that? They say by the tip of the football, Mississippi State gets new life, and it's first and ten. And there's still a minute one to go in the game. We have seen so many close calls. Now they start the clock as they come up to the line. Clock's running. They don't have any timeouts left. Plump got a man wide open. It's Harris at the 10. Shoved out. Got the first down. Shoved out at the 5. Threw it right in front of Adrian Sherwood. 47 ticks remain. Well, I call a moment ago. That's a tough one, Charlie. Boy, you hit it right on the money. When Bill Curry sees that, his blood is going to boil. But they don't have it in the end zone yet. Mississippi State down to fourth down on two occasions on this drive, and they're still alive with 47 seconds to go. Going to try to flood this left side. Look for a throwback, too. He'll try to go left, throws it in the end zone. It is overthrown. Intending it for Orlando Truitt. Brad Armstead had him covered all the way. 42 seconds remain. Kentucky up 36 to 29. Keep in mind, Mississippi State has no timeouts left. Here's another look. This ball will come right at us. Trying to get through it. And he gave it every effort he could to pull this thing in with his left arm. And just could not quite get to it. Thrown out of the end zone. Incomplete. Second down, 10. From the Kentucky Five. Wing right, receivers left and right, single set back behind Pluck. Here comes Kentucky with a blitz. Marty Moore gets knocked down, thrown in the end zone, touchdown, it's Harris. Well, they've come a long ways. Overcame fourth down on two occasions on that drive, and they are back within one point at 36-35. Marty Moore comes charging in here but loses his footing as he gets knocked off balance by the center Lee Ford and coming open in the end zone Willie Harris their leading receiver as he caught it right in front of Don Robinson all right they're gonna go for two Plump's got the play from the bench and Charlie here we go this is the ball game right here hold your breath if you're a Kentucky fan 37 seconds left 36-35 our score. Roberts in motion. Plump will pitch it back. Trying to get to the pylon. Is he there? Yes, he's there. And it's 37-36 Mississippi State with 37 seconds left. And the celebration breaks out on the Bulldog sidelines. A dramatic drive in the final two minutes and 40 seconds the Bulldogs overcoming two fourth down plays to keep the drive alive they score on a pass play to Willie Harris and they get a two-point conversion right here on the run by Kenny Roberts as he dives for the corner of the end zone and is just in 67 yard drive 14 plays took only 141 off the clock can Kentucky come back? Well, there's not much time now 
37 seconds remaining. And three timeouts left. A lot of timeouts. Boys, you sit up here and look at it, though, Charlie. A lot of the fans in the stadium don't realize it, but we go back to that play, that Marcus Jenkins interception. I guarantee you this, that footage will go to the SEC office. Seemed like they should have been able to see it right down the sidelines as you look right back down the length of the football field, and the foot was right there. Let's see if Kentucky can utilize the three timeouts, but so little time. Back deep for Kentucky, Chapman and Rudolph. Coming toward Chapman, he'll let it get into the end zone wisely. It will come out to the 20. And with that, no time goes off the clock. It stays right at 37 seconds, and Pookie Jones and company come out onto the field to try to pull this thing out of the fire. Out of a furnace. 37-36, Mississippi State. 37 seconds left. Kentucky's ball at its own 20. Here comes Johnson to the near side. Chapman to the far side. Collins on a wing left. Single setback is Samuels, the fullback. Jones back to throw. Stands in. Goes far sideline complete to Collins who takes it out of bounds around the 27-28 yard line. That took six seconds. Davidson was covering. And the Wildcats really have little choice but to do exactly what Mississippi State did. Throw to the sidelines. Although remember Kentucky does have those three timeouts. Not much time left. Hood will work on a wing right. Three receivers right, one to the left side. Second down. 31 seconds left. Mississippi State by one. Jones back to throw. Chased out of the pocket. Fires near sideline. Out of bounds complete to Chapman for the first down. Upfield at the 37-yard line. 25 seconds left. Well, Charlie, as we see this completion to Mark Chapman, and a good job by Pookie Jones and Chapman on the execution here. I can't help but think back to last year's homecoming game against Cincinnati when the Wildcats had a lot less time than this on the clock, but somehow or other they pulled it out to the fire and Pelfrey hit that dramatic field goal right at the end. Pelfrey's range is about 65 yards. Right. They just need to get him close enough to win it. Mississippi State may have been offside, no penalty. Jones throws near sideline, incomplete. I thought the right side defensive end for State was offside. Looked like somebody jumped, and we hear Latif some, reaction, Travis. some re reaction coming from the crowd, and Bill Curry really upset along the Kentucky bench. Let's get another look at it here. Travis. Top of your screen. There he comes. Well, close. It was close. He really had a jump on the snap of the ball. Looked like Kentucky may have had the ball snapped. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Second down, 10. There was a warning given. Now Bill Curry signaling timeout. Timeout, Kentucky. Cats have two left and 21 seconds to try to pull off a win. Oh, what a ball game we've seen. Perfect oh. setting for Halloween, no question. Yeah, I keep talking about it, Charlie, but it's, it's just remarkable the way these two teams have fought back at each other all night long, ever since the opening moments of the game. Right now, the burden is on the Wildcat shoulders as you look at Rick Rhodes, Bill Curry, Pookie Jones, Tommy Limbaugh talking things over. Ryan Hoffman, number 19, also right there. In that Cincinnati game a year ago, it, gosh, there was only like 18 seconds or 19 seconds or so when the Wildcats took the ball. Two or three completions, I can't remember exactly how many, and then the dramatic kick by Pelfrey to get it through the uprights. Regardless of what has happened, even if the Cats can't come back and win it, I think they've showed the Southeastern Conference, all the Kentucky fans and the Mississippi State fans that this program is on its way. The offense has done quite a job, and the defense has too. You hate to see that happen on that final drive. 
And a 300-plus yard passing performance tonight by Pookie Jones could go down the drain. Second down call from the Kentucky 37. Mississippi State up by one, 21 seconds remains. Pookie back to throw, runs left, fires, incomplete. Out of the outstretched arms of Mark Chapman, 15 ticks left and it's third down. Should have had a completion. Looked like Chapman might have taken his eyes off the ball for an instant. It looked like the pass was right there. Coming into this game, Mississippi State was only allowing about 13 points. And Kentucky has scored 36. It's the biggest output of the year. How many in the Indiana game? Was it 35? This has been the most points scored on Mississippi State this year. Kentucky down by one. Third down and ten. Jones back to throw. Big rush. Steps up. Fires across the middle. Complete. Pounder for the first down to the Mississippi State 46-yard line. And immediately the Wildcats. Have they called a timeout? Gonna have to move the chains ahead. They get a, a first down, so they get a timeout. Pass right over the middle as Calvert comes open, takes it down into Mississippi State territory. Eight seconds left. Mississippi State 37, Kentucky 36. One more play, maybe. Or will Pelfrey come on? I think they've got to give him a little bit more yardage. That would be asking too much, though. He's got the leg to do it. But keep in mind, too, that he would be kicking into the wind. Not with it. Now, this is better than a 60-yard kick. Let's see. I compute that at, what, 63 yards? Now the flag is dropping down. Of course, in this stadium, the wind swirls. It's hard to say what's happening on the field. You see the streamers there at the top of the goalpost. They are not blowing very much, and the flags are blowing at the top of the stadium. Bill Curry pulls his entire unit over to the far side of the field. He would like to run one more play, perhaps a quick pass to the sidelines. Wildcats did use a timeout. They have one remaining. But that eight seconds now is the most important thing. And Kentucky is going to try to run one more play. Let's look for him to get a quick pass to the sidelines here. Or maybe throw a pass perhaps over the middle and try and get a quick timeout. If it's not there, throw it away. Eight seconds left. Got to get it close enough for Pelfrey to have a shot. Jones back to throw. Clock running. Jones fires for Calvert. He's got it at the 25-yard line. Two seconds left, and Pelfrey will get a chance to win it. Well, you can't ask for any more than this. What a completion. Pookie straight back under pressure. The clock ticking. Has to get rid of it quickly. And Tim Calvert is right there. Went right through the arms Charlie, of Charlie Davidson. Charlie Davidson almost had the interception. I think he thought he had it in his hands. Now to look at it, here comes Davidson streaking in the other direction. No, it goes right into Calvert's hands. And Kentucky's got a chance now to win the game. Wildcats burn their final time out. And could it happen two years in a row? Cincinnati last year, Mississippi State this year. Last year here, Pelfrey hit a 53-yarder to win it. He has hit five tonight, missed one that hit the right crossbar. He has hit a 53-yarder tonight. Ashmark far side, be a 43-yard attempt to win it. Doug Pelfrey, the senior, did it last year against Cincinnati. Mississippi State 37, Kentucky 36. Pelfrey's field goal pick is blocked. Mississippi State wins it. The Bulldogs storm the field. They come away with a 37-36 victory. Here it is. I don't know if we'll be able to see what happened on this angle. It was number 35. Diving in front to just get a hand on the ball and preserve the victory. Jeff Artigas. Jeff Artigas, the strong safety, has saved the night for Mississippi State. We'll be back to Commonwealth Stadium for some final thoughts on tonight's game after this.